Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the Snubby playthrough. Last time we started our adventures with the exploration of the Cold Ridge Valley subzone, which we completed after some shenanigans, and made our way northward into Karanos, which is at the relative center of the Dunmoreau starting zone for gnomes and dwarves. And we also uh, contemplated what professions we should go for in this playthrough. Of course, in this game, you can actually have all of the professions, you just have to switch out which ones are active, and you retain, I believe, you retain all of your uh, progression through each of the professions. So we can always switch around our professions relatively freely, but it is probably good to invest into the ones we want to go for um, while leveling. And really the question comes down to, do I go with the paired herbalism alchemy primary professions, because you only have two, or do I go for mining engineering, which is one that I said I would probably go for last time. And you can only have two professions, and because you can't trade or use the auction house on hardcore mode while you're leveling, you really need to have a gathering profession as well as a crafting profession to make full use of the crafting profession. Because you're not going to be able to consistently get enough uh, gatherable reagents without the gathering profession there as well. So the advantage of going with herbalism alchemy is that alchemy is a bit safer, gives me access to craftable health potions and other like elixirs that can certainly help out. So it might technically be a more surefire uh, sort of safety net for this challenge. However, um, I feel like it's more interesting to go for mining engineering. Engineering gives me access to craftable guns, to ammunition, I believe, as well as numerous gadgets and, and sort of crazy, you know, gnomish and goblin inventions, which just sounds kind of fun. <laughs> and I think that given that I plan to actually invest into all three of the secondary professions, first aid, fishing, and cooking, which all help you a lot with survivability and recovering between fights. Um, there may even be some first aid stuff that you can use during a fight in some circumstances. So basically, between fights, I should have more than enough food and bandages to keep myself healed back up pretty quick. And as long as I'm taking smart fights and in smart locations, that should be all I need to worry about. My amount of in-fight healing is already pretty limited as a hunter, and uh, although alchemy gives me access to health potions, I often am going to have to deal with health potion cooldowns, so it just gives me one more heal during a fight. And if I'm in a fight where I even need the heal at all, given that I'm planning to largely rely on my pet to uh, keep everyone away from me, because I'm just a little gal and I can't take too much damage, um, if I'm already in that situation, I'm in, I'm in trouble anyways, right? So I think it's more interesting to go with a slightly riskier, a bit more uh, fun path of mining engineering. So. That's my reasoning for that. And speaking of the secondary professions, uh, here in Karanos at least, I don't know about whether all the primary profession trainers are present here as well. Ironforge is not far away, so we can go to the capital to learn the main professions pretty soon here. But in terms of uh, the uh, secondary professions, we can definitely train them here. So here is a physician. I can train you in first aid techniques. This guy can train for first aid, so let's do just that. Yeah, so first aid is, so these, these are expensive. One silver to learn first aid, but it's definitely worth it. Because <laughs> we immediately, with Apprentice First Aid, get basic bandages. And I don't think we have any wool stored up yet, so I can't make use of it quite yet. But I can, um, I can get some wool pretty soon here, so let's go ahead and train for it. Alright, that was one of our silver right there. And then th there's a cooking trainer back here as well. I can teach you how to cook! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'll try and cooking as well. Save right, travels. and so let me go ahead and put this on my bar. So first aid over here. Um, actually, hold on, first aid there. First aid there. Um, cooking, I'll put here. Okay, um, let's see. Actually, let me do it like this. Yeah, let's do it like that. All right. Um, Okay, so cooking-wise, what, what do I have yet? Um, herb to bake egg, roasted boar meat, and shard wolf meat. Not super great stuff, but we'll, we're going to get these uh, cooking ingredients as we, you know, adventure around, so I'm not going to necessarily go out of my way to farm for them. I guess I could do that if I end up needing to, but I don't think it's really necessary at the minute. I can teach you how to cook. And our, our next available uh, recipe from this trainer, at least, is level 10, or, uh, yeah, rank 10 cooking. So... Let me see if there's a cooking supplies vendor down here. There's like a bunch of people down here, actually. Let's uh, scope it out. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, these uh, these dwarven like downstairs areas are a bit more expansive than you may expect. 
they just kind of uh, surprisingly have a ton of space down here. I guess it makes kind of it makes sense, you know, dwarves like to build into the the earth and whatnot. Right, so this general supplies guy may have uh, something that I might want. I don't think so, actually. I think we're fine. I could spend, I could save up uh, silver to buy bags, but we're getting bag drops now and then, and I, really, I think it's not a great investment to buy a bag from a vendor like that with our limited money. Anyways, in terms of the physician guy, uh, the next thing we can learn is at 40 for heavy linen bandages. Yeah, so for first aid, we can do linen bandages, um, which aren't amazing, but it's better than nothing, right? So... Really, we're going to try to get up to um, journeyman level once we're finishing up this full zone, so we'll get to that later. Right, uh, let's head on out and uh, start exploring Karanos. So there's some quests to pick up at first. I'm going to look and see if... Because uh, there's the hunter trainer over there. I'm going to look and see if there's um, engineering and mining trainers in this town. Could be that there's not. We may have to go to Ironforge for that. But we will scope this out. Blacksmith trainer. No, okay. No one in this room, at least. Okay, let's, uh... I think there might be... I don't remember if it's an engineer trainer. There's an, at least a gnome guy who lives kind of close by. Let me go look. Yeah, there's, a, like, a gnome house over here. I'm gonna go see if he's an engineering trainer. But I may be wrong about that. Uh, let's see. Also, in Turtle WoW, hunters, um, I believe can train, like, mechanical pets, sort of like what you can do in Cataclysm. Or this, these are gnomes, but they're not gnome, uh, they're not gnome engineer trainers, so that's fine. Um, I think I may actually run to Ironforge and pick up mining, mining at least, maybe also engineering, because I want to be able to mine uh, nodes as I spot them in these uh, next areas as I do some quests. Although, before I go to Ironforge, one of these uh, quests in town may be to go to Ironforge, so I'm going to... Actually, hold on, wait. I think there's another area over here. Yeah, one of the um, Ironforge... One of the Karanos quests might be to go to Ironforge, so I should check and see if... Uh, also, these guys have ten a ton of quests. Yeah, this is the Gnome uh, Mount Vendor. So you can buy... Uh, yeah. Think if you have come looking for the gift of fast and safe mobility, then you have arrived at your destination. This year's model of the new Mechanos has recently arrived, and I am ready to show you all they have to offer. Okay. Yeah, so Mechanos Striders are the gnome racial mount, and the easiest ones to get require level 40, and for you to buy the very expensive, um... Actually, I guess in the classic it's, it's less expensive, but the expensive, you know, nonetheless, writing skill ability, so... But these guys give you, uh, I believe, 60% move movement speed, and then you have the epic ones that require level 60, so max level, and they give you 100%, so it's a big movement bonus, but it's not accessible for most of the, the, the playthrough. I can teach you the finer points of Mechanostrider piloting, provided you have enough gold to cover the lesson! <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, we can't even look at it right now because we're so low level. Whatever the case, um, I'm going to look at these quests in just a second. I don't know what all these... Oh, here's an engineering supplies guy. There might be an engineering trainer over here. What's on your mind? Welcome to Steel Grill's Depot. Yeah, some of these might be needed for engineering, high-level engineering, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, recipes. What Let me look at this quest. Hegna Rumbleshot sells guns off the road to Anvil Mark. Rifleman and mortar team spend a lot of time practicing out near his shop, and he's always needing fresh ammunition. But the last crate of ammo I sent him got lost along the way. My courier said he was camped near the grizzled den when Wendigo chased him away, and the fool left Rumbleshot's ammo behind. Adventurer, can you get that ammo and take it to Rumbleshot? He's been waiting on it, and I'm sure he's running low. All right. This will be a quest to send us over to that mortar team that I ran by at the end of the last episode in the south, I believe. Um, let me look around this area here to see if there's any more quest givers tucked away in the buildings. Could be the case, but not in this building at least. Okay. That's a chicken here. Ah, okay, here's the engineering. Oh, mining and engineering. Okay, yeah. Perfect. I don't need to go Iron Forge right now. Well, I'm, I might for a quest, but... Here they are. Yeah, pr Apprentice Mining is only 10 uh, copper, fortunately, so we can grab that now. 
Mining is my first one, yep. Yeah, and then mining also is where you get your smelting recipes once you get high enough uh, level. So yeah. We do need a mining pick to do mining, so I should buy one of those as well. I'm going to go ahead and turn on fine materials. Oh, I can only do one kind of tracking at a time, that's true. I think for now we'll turn on fine materials, but I will switch back to fine beasts if the situation comes up where I think I need that. It's better to have it than to not have it, to be sure. Right, and then engineering. Just a minor adjustment here. There we go. Okay. Let's train this. All right. And our lowest level recipes are 30. So let's take a look at our engineering uh, situation here. Um, here we go. Okay, so what can we create right now? Um, rough lasting powder, which is probably a, res a uh, reagent for other things. Crafted light shot, all right. Well, that's a, a good start. That is uh, better than what we currently are using, so I should probably make some of these. It's actually a damage increase as well. So yes, yeah, so we can make bullets, that's what I thought, but uh, good to verify that. And we can make better bullets than our current bullets, so we should get around to this. So we need rough blasting powder and copper bars. And copper bars we can make from copper ore, which requires mining, so that's why I'm, I'm doing mining. And then this requires rough stone, which we also get from mining low-level uh, nodes. And then rough dynamite, okay, this requires linen cloth, actually. Okay. This certainly can help with our DPS. So yeah, I think we've made the right choice here. Um, let me go and check and see if that engineering supplies guy had any uh, engineering recipes for sale for low-level engineering. Probably not. No. He actually does sell blasting powder, like, as an item, which could be kind of nice to just get one, you know, ahead of time. <laughs> It's only 16 copper, honestly. Uh, I guess he wouldn't, like, people, like, these guys don't normally sell it, but he's happening to sell it right now. You can see there's only one copy. I think 16 copper is worth it to get one blasting powder for free. That's saving us from having to get one extra rough stone, so I think that's fine. I'm actually going to put my engineering, or my mining stuff. Actually, can I not set them in this game? Maybe that's a retail thing. Yeah, I'll just manually put it back in my, my back uh, black pouch. Okay, that's good. Let me go check out these quests over here as well. Driving a siege engine isn't for everyone. It takes an iron grip and nerves of steel. Lucky I have both. How about you? How's your metal? Want to prove it to me? Well, looking to make my engine troll plow a little more cozy. Okay. This guy wants to plow some trolls. Very suspicious. I'm going to turn my volume up slightly. My volume on my computer was wrong. I think that should be fixing it now. Alright. Okay. I think we're good. I'm preparing to start a mission for the Siege Brigade. It's a long one, and I need to stock Jet Steam with a month's worth of supplies. So while Steel Grill is working on my tank, can you do some hunting for me? I'll need some fur for bedding and boar meat for food. You can get meat from boars and fur from the bears. You can find them both in the snowfield south of the Grizzled Dead. Yeah, so there's a lot of quests like this where uh, chunks of boar meat is actually a um, item that I can use as well for cooking. So I have to decide sometimes whether, like here, I think it is worth it to get the the quest XP, given that I only what get 50% creature kill XP, and the money from doing this quest. But I might otherwise, you know, not want to get rid of chunks of boar meat because they're kind of a valuable item for me. Alright, so I'm glad we just spotted this area to get these quests, but uh, let's head over to town and to pick up uh, the next couple of quests. I th oh god, there's a bear right there. I think there are, um... I think there's a quest in here somewhere to go to Ironforge to, like, deliver an item. Usually these, uh, starting zone towns have a quest like that so that the new player goes to kind of check out the capital. But, uh, I guess I don't remember for sure if that's in Classic or not. I guess we'll find out in just a minute here. Alright, Ragnar Thunderbrew. Nothing my tavern patrons enjoy more than some beer basted boar <laughs> beans. Only focus. The local trapper who used to bring me supplies enlisted in the King's army to help with the war on the Alliance front. Maybe you can help me out. If you bring me six cracked boar ribs and a rhapsody mold for the tavern, <laughs> I'll give you the family recipe for my famous beer basted boar ribs. Not to mention a free sample of the secrets in the mold. <laughs> play this. The AI says, no. "Beer basted boar." It's like a, it's like he's put in 
a thousand percent effort into every bee. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry. Well, that th see, this quest rewards us with a cooking recipe, which is actually not otherwise trained from cooking trainers. There's a guy, at least in Stormwind, there might be one in Ironforge that sells all of these quest cooking recipes for like a, uh, a surplus or like a surcharge, so you can get them without doing all the quests, but I want to try to avoid buying cooking recipes that I can't get from like a quest or whatnot just to save on on, on money, honestly. Belding Steel Grill owns the local mechanic shop and he's the best siege engine tech there is, but he's not forgiving to his tools. I swear he almost breaks more arc light spanners than we can supply him with. We just filled his last order for tools. If you deliver it to him, I'm sure he'll make it worth the effort. His shop, Steel Grill's depot, is just northeast of Karanos. And it's a local haunt for veteran siege engine pilots, so keep your ears open for opportunities while you're there. I was just there. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll run back over there and uh, <laughs> go deliver the tools to that guy. Maybe that opens up another quest that I missed before. What could be the case. Never hurts to uh, do more quests. <laughs> and then I did catch a quest that I missed before over in the corner here. Let's uh, grab that. Actually, I think I know what that quest is. A lot of these starting areas have these quests that let you unlock... Um... Actually, no, I'm, I'm wrong. That's not what this is. This is something else. I, I wish the snow would just all melt away. It's always getting my robe wet and messing up everything. Everything? <laughs> Change of heart. Oh, no voice text for this. Uh, pardon me, Hunter, might I ask a favor of you? I'm sure my association with Grimrus and his dark rituals has little to put you at ease, but I assure you I'm no power-thirsty demon dabbler. This doesn't suit me. Truth be told, I always wanted to be a blacksmith. No, an engineer. Not all gnomes are engineers, you know. From the moment I laid eyes on the Great Forge, I've dreamed of working beside the Great Tormus Deep Forge. The suffocating heat of the forge's flames, the shrill cry of hammers, striking hot iron, the glint of a finely crafted blade. Yes, nothing would make me happier. If you're headed to Iron Forge, won't you please take this letter to Tormus Deep Forge for me? It's an application to join the, join the blacksmith skill in Iron Forge. Tormus should be near the Great Forge. This is the quest I thought I would find, where you go to Iron Forge. Um, ooh, this is actually... Off and away. I'm gonna do this quest now because I actually want to get the Sharpening Stone quest reward, which I never thought I'd say, but... Yeah, let's uh, let's go check out Iron Forge. Honestly, after first we'll go over and uh, also there's some copper over here. Oh, I need to buy a mining pick. I just realized. Um, I think there's a general goods merchant in here, uh, but I need to have a mining pick in my inventory to do mining. Right. Some blacksmithing supplies might have one. Yeah, here we go. Uh, let's see. I think this is all I need at the minute. Put that in the bag. I don't know if I need it physically equipped. I might need. I might. I might need that, but uh, we'll see in a minute. Glad I remembered to grab that before I started to try to mine anything. So yeah, there's some there's some stuff over there. Actually, you know what? That is inside of the Wendigo cave, I just realized. That's what I'm seeing. So I probably can't go over there right now. I will get killed by Wendigos. But let's go over and drop off the uh, the bolts or whatever at um, the gnome, or at the pilots over here. So we'll... Also, there is a... Oh yeah, that's the quest giver. Or the quest recipient, I mean. And then I think I, I I might I might hold off from going to Iron Forge quite yet. Maybe I could go now, but maybe when I hit level six, so I can go and train at the Hunter Trainer there. Although I can train at the Hunter Trainer in Karanos as well. So I guess it couldn't hurt to go just to sort of check it out. But I don't really need to go there yet. I guess I want to learn fishing while I'm over there, and I can't. I don't, there's no fishing trainer in Karanos, I don't think. Hmm. You look a little young to be a siege engine pilot, but no matter. Do you need something fixed? Well, take a number and get comfortable. I'm working on a couple engines right now and don't have time for another job for at least a few days. Or or were you here for something else? You have my tools. Well done, lass, well done. I just broke my last fang ratchet an hour ago, and I need one of those to finish repairs on Pilot Stone Gear's siege engine. You did a good thing by lugging those tools here, adventurer. Here, take these coins for your help. Alright. <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Uh, let's see here. Um, what do I want to do first? I don't really have enough money to buy anything in Ironforge. I think I might not go to Ironforge quite. I don't have any money at the minute, so I couldn't even afford the fishing uh, training if I wanted, because it's probably one one silver, right? And this won't give me any money, so. I think for now, we, we keep doing some quests in the area. Uh, let's see here. 
I think I'm gonna do the the boar ribs quest first, and this one is not not this one, uh, this one as well. We need some boar meat, boar ribs, and chunks of bear fur. And a boar should drop both their ribs and their meat. All right, here we go. Let's fight this bear. Oh, this bear is uh, coming straight at me. He was uh, a bit a bit tougher than I was expecting, but I think we're okay. was a, a bit dicier than it should have been. Um, at least we got the bear fur from him, so that's pretty good. Also, we have no no consumables right now to heal faster between fights. Okay, let's not uh, play around like that. Um, let's uh, do this at maximum range, perhaps, like a smart person. Once we're back at full health. Just gotta wait <laughs> for that <laughs> to eventually happen. Nope, not that one. Oh god, alright. Should be alright though. As long as we're paying attention. Around here, the, the boars are, are gold, so, or they're yellow, so they're not going to attack me on sight, but the bears are red, so they will attack me on sight. So if a bear spawns near me, I have to be a little on the careful side. Alright, chunk of boar meat. There we go. Good stuff. Alright. Do I have all my spells equipped? Yes. I could throw on track beasts, but I actually would rather track for minerals. I can see the beasts around here just fine. No need to track them. I can see them. Let's not maybe attack large crag boars. That would be a little bit dangerous. Whew, alright. Here we go. I really need concussive shot to slow them down on the approach. That would be a big help. I think I learned that at level 8, so... Arcane shot at level 6 will be a, a big boost as well. So far, so good. This is maximum uh, zoom at range, by the way. <laughs> Just no problems. Alright, let's get a little bit closer. Alright, we got three shots off there. Boars are pretty quick, so this is going to have to do. Also, in terms of pets, um, I did some research about how pets work in uh, Vanilla WoW. And um, it's basically split into different kinds of families, and it's kind of interesting, but you basically, as a hunter, train pets to teach yourself pet abilities that then your pets can use, and certain kinds of pet families can use certain kinds of abilities. So there are actually kinds of pet families, and pet families are like kinds of pets, like boars or, or big cats or vultures or whatnot, that have different attributes and different available spells. Also, this is getting a little dicey. This was a large Craig boar. I literally just said I should attack these guys. What am I doing? I'm throwing already. Holy crap, what are we, like, 20 minutes into the video? Um, let's uh, come down here where it's a little bit safer. Yeah, we gotta we gotta take a chill pill here. <laughs> but yeah, and so for, for taming purposes, I don't know if Turtle Wow has really changed how pet taming works. I know that there are new kinds of pets in the game, but I don't really know how they work. So I guess we're going to figure it out together, honestly, once we hit level 10 and unlock uh, pet taming. At least I think it's level 10. I guess I'm not 100% sure. There's a level 10 with a pet, so it's at least level 10. I'm sure it's not before that. Uh, yeah, let's just attack regular Craig boars if we can help it. Or these bears. This one here I should be able to manage. Let me get far enough away. So far, so good. If only I had the money to buy a better weapon. <laughs> this will do for now, though, I guess. And I think I'm allowed to... Like, even though I only start with some weapon types available, you can train weapon skills to learn about using new kinds of weapons. And hunters, infamously, can use many kinds of weapons in the game once they uh, unlock them. 
So we may have some diversity available to us, which would be quite nice. I'm tempted to actually cook up those those boar parts that I'm getting just so I can have something to heal myself faster between fights, but then I'd be using up my own quest items. Probably not the best uh, way to handle that, in all honesty. Alright, let's just uh, play it safe. Go as, not this far back, but go pretty far back. Oh gosh, he just charged right at me. That's a bit dangerous. He, he managed to get in before I got a third shot, shot off, so that's not great. Let's have to use Raptor Strike and cool down here. Alright, I think we're fine. Okay. Actually kind of tense questing. Love that. Just gotta wait for my uh, health to regenerate. Yeah, if um, if I die, then that's the end of the playthrough. I'm not gonna. Maybe I'll try another playthrough some other day. But like, I'm committed to you know not somehow getting like having some loophole or whatnot. Like if if Snubby, if if she becomes a ghost, that's it for the playthrough. That's the adventure concluded. So we are going to be playing it safe uh, for the entire time until we definitely successfully hit level 60. One third shot, please. Shoot the hill. Fourth shot? No. All right, three shots is uh is fine. <laughs> also, I should find a uh, a copper node so I can make those slightly better bullets that will help out as well. I wasn't expecting the craftable bullets to be better than the ones I start with, but I guess that's a, a sign that I'm on the right track with the engineering profession. Also, this quest I'm I'm getting stuff for is here, so I, it's kind of nice that I'm not going really far away. All right, let's uh, come over here. Once we are at full health, we will get to shooting. We could probably get away with partial health, but even, like I said, oh no, God, shoot. All right, that guy gra grabbed him. Here we go, here's an alternative guy. Up. All right, there, there we go, three shots. Once I have a concussive shot, I can probably consistently get four shots, maybe five shots, because it slows them down. Alright. Oh my god, finally. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this question. <sighs> well met. Preparations are going well. How goes your hunting? My Magni's beard! You sure did a lot of hunting. Thank you, adventurer. Yeah. Read your old barley oh. brew experiments with his brews. Some of them taste good, some bad, and some, well, some will lay all but the stoutest dwarf flat. <laughs> he lives at Brunol Village, west of Karanos, and one of his drinks, Evershine, is what I want. It'll help keep me warm while I'm on the cold road. And the blessed stuff burns so hot I can throw it in Jet Steam's furnace for a burst of power. That little tactic has gotten me out of more than one tight spot. I think this might be the most dwarvish like idea in the universe. Literally powering your steam tank with beer. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to send us over to Brunel Village, which I will get to soon. Um, let's see, west of Karanos, alright. Uh, the Wendigo main quest, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that quite yet. Maybe once I'm level 6 I'll feel ready. Let's keep keep working away at um, beer basted boar ribs or uh, beer basted boar ribs <laughs> with maximum emphasis. Also, are, are these Craig boar ribs coming from the Craig boars? Because I'm not I'm not seeing a lot of these drops. Let me kill this guy and see how things are looking. Oh, there's a bear. There's two bears right there. Holy crap. Let us pay attention, my dude. Wow, that could have been bad. If those guys... Here we go. If those guys had both aggroed on me at the same time, I would have died. Like, I'm not even kidding. I would not have been able to get away before they stopped, uh, before they leashed back to their starting location. Okay, I don't know if the large Craig boars have a higher chance of dropping them, but this, these guys are level 6, so I think I should be able to handle them pretty okay. Let's just... uh stand near the guards, just in case. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is a 
throw this something out. Thanks. Damn. No. No loot. Uh, that's tough. At least if these guys drop regular chunks of boar meat now, I can cook it and make myself some food. That's the uh, the least they can do. Let's back it up. I screwed up the rotation there. Ah, oh, shoot, okay. Yeah, that didn't... I thought that was gonna give me a chance to get an extra shot off, but it was the opposite. <laughs> Uh, that's too bad. So in terms of, uh, you know, planning ahead for the future, uh, putting aside, like, what kind of pet I want, um, I think that, you know, the safest option for me is probably to do something a little bit unusual, which is to actually get a cat pet, which you probably wouldn't be expecting. And I, I should note, by the way, that all my research has been using uh, classic WoW stats, which Turtle WoW mostly uses. But Turtle WoW may have changed a few things here and there, so I will try to verify the Turtle WoW pet meta before I make big commitments. But generally speaking, um, in vanilla WoW, cat pets are the best DPS, and they also sync up the best with the the talent tree I plan to lean the heaviest into, which is Beast Mastery. I think my best bet, honestly, for survival in this playthrough is to have a glass cannon style pet who critically, and this is why I'm thinking about cat pets, has the Prowl ability, which means I can use Eyes of the Beast to control my pet, go into stealth mode with Prowl, and then scout areas that are densely concentrated with enemies to see what's ahead of me. Having that informational advantage is a game changer, and since I myself can't stealth, um, if I was playing even like a Night Elf Hunter, I can't stealth and move, having a pet that I can stealth with and scout with is extremely helpful, honestly. And especially with Beast Mastery, if I can just have high enough DPS on the pet, um, even if they're a bit more fragile, I should be able to just shred through enemies, especially if I'm taking safe encounters and like safe pulls, before they kill my pet. So I think that's like the plan I have at the minute. I'm open to uh, tweaking it slightly, but you know, I was thinking about like maybe I should get like a boar pet, because boars are really, really good all rounders. Or something really tanky like a bear or a turtle pet, but honestly, like. Looking at the meta for uh, Vanilla WoW with pets, um, especially for trying to survive, I think my best bet is just to damage the enemy like fast enough so that I kill them before they kill my pet, right? And as long as I'm like taking one like one at a time or for weaker enemies two at a time pulls and not you know goofing around with a really 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 risky pulls, even a slightly uh, more vulnerable pet like a like a cat or a wolf who's more on the damage side can really uh, do, like serve my needs really well, you know? So, I think that's the plan at the minute, and there's actually, and I need to see if uh, there's documentation anywhere that I can find about how Turtle WoW changes this, because the thing is, I can I can tame any number of pets I want. There's no reason to, like, try to wait to tame a pet until the exact right thing is set up, because I can tame pets, um, you know, really freely, and I kind of have to tame a ton of pets. The way pet taming the meta, I was saying earlier, the, the pet taming meta in Classic is about sort of quantity over quality. Also, I'm going to cook the, uh, the boar meat over here, just so I have something, anything, <laughs> to get me some uh, some healing in a, in a pinch. You never know, that might be what saves the run, so may as well take the time there. But um, it's, if I am going to go for a, like, able to stealth, high DPS cat strategy, I think what I need to do is actually aim for some of those uh, famous, assuming Turtle Wild hasn't changed them, some of those uh, cat beasts that you can tame that actually have like almost like glitched increased damage per second like uh, I think there's one in the barrens and I think there's one like in badlands I need to look in this, into this more I'm not gonna obviously get there for a while but my general idea is go for the highest DPS possible pets uh, and um, rely on having extreme pet damage and uh, my other abilities and whatnot are utility to help facilitate my pet because the thing is I can't heal myself but I can heal my pet, and so assuming that men pet is something I can even like use in combat, which I'm not, actually not sure about, but I think there are ways to heal your own pet in combat. Maybe I guess I'm again I'm not an expert at vanilla, so I'm not 100% sure. But um, oh my gosh, I just had a heart attack. That's a night elf druid running around. <laughs> I saw a giant bear. All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, even if I can't heal my pet during combat, again I think I can play safe enough that having high DPS 
sort of glass cannon style pet is going to be what actually gives me the best survivability. Because ultimately, um, group fights are more dangerous in this game in a way because enemies don't have any reduction in their damage as their health goes down, so you really want to focus fire and like single target. And a high DPS burst single target pet like a cat would really accomplish that. Now, I don't know how accessible cat pets kind of are for this part of the world. I'm going to figure out the, the best way to handle the pet um, sort of route I want to take here. But that's a that's a future problem. Let's uh, get out of Dunmoreau before we worry about that anyways, and even be able to train pets. But of course I will train other kinds of pets along the way. I'm not just going to train cats, or I'm not even sure if I will have cats be my main pet type. But you basically train lots of different kinds of pets to unlock abilities that you then give to the pet that you want to have more permanently. And then that pet can basically get powered up from your pet training, you know, experiences, if that makes sense. So, also, Rhapsody Melt, is that just sold by the uh, the tavern here? Okay, so we just need three more boar ribs, then we can go complete that quest. So, yeah, that's the plan with, with the pets. Um, I'm still doing some research, but there is, like, a pretty well-understood meta for vanilla and classic around different what pets are good at. And I think for my purposes, Beast Mastery and a very, very high DPS pet, like a cat, or like a wind serpent's another family that's really good for that. Um, wolves are pretty good. Uh, I can, there's a lot of options, right? And um, all I know for sure is that there are certain kinds of pet families that are considered basically unviable for hardcore because they uh, have really bad uh, attribute scaling and really bad like pet abilities, like spiders aren't very good. Um, or they're considered not very good. I guess I don't know for sure, but, you know. Why, you know, why play around when um, there's good options? And another thing, too, is that, you know, whatever my ultimate, like, pet plans are, I can certainly start off with a really good pet family, which is accessible quite a bit around here, which is boars. Boars are uh, very, very good at uh, being a hardcore hunter pet because they've got a good ability. They can charge in and stun an enemy when they, when they pull. Uh, they also are pretty... They're like, on, they're like a tanky, you know, DPS, right? And so they're not as crazy DPS as like a cat, but boars, um, as, again, I'm, I'm saying all this not knowing if Turtle Wow changes this dramatically. I don't think it has, but I, I guess I'll have to figure that out. But uh, getting a boar pet first is not the worst idea. And there are even kinds of uh, pet families in Turtle Wow, like mechanical pets, that I don't know how those work. So I'm going to have to like really do some experimentation. Or we're going to riskily come out here into where the bears might be wandering around to try to get some more of these boars. Didn't time that. After I fire the first shot, my auto attack needs to happen pretty much after, but I think we were okay. Oh, that was a bad dodge. <laughs> Alright. One problem we have right now is we don't really have any slows we can throw on them. I think I get hamstring pretty soon, though. I'm not sure. I have to look him up at the hunter trainer. Having hamstring of it, or do I get hamstring? Am I wrong about that? Is hamstring even a hunter ability? I might be just completely wrong about that. I think we have something that either is hamstring or is like hamstring to slow down enemies, just so that we can make an escape. Because if I'm hitting like 20, 35, 30 percent health, and I don't think I can kill the enemy in time, I gotta slow them and run. Like that's the only option, honestly. <laughs> uh, all right. I know this may be a little bit on the boring side, but it's safer for me to do these quests like this, uh, just focusing in on them. Kills the drop rate for this boar meat is, a uh, the boar ribs, I mean, is very low. So if I was just doing this as I was running around, I would be struggling to find any of these ribs anywhere. <laughs> may as well get this thing over and done with here in this one spot. Well, it's uh, on the safer side. And I kind of want to hit level 6 before I do the Wendigo Cave. Maybe even more than that. Like, I'm scared of this Wendigo cave. I even remember this place when I played the game back, like, 15 years ago. <laughs> Actually, it was even before that, because I think it was changed in Cataclysm. But, um, whatever the case. I guess it, 15 years ago was before Cataclysm, I, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, here we go. I think I came a little bit too close there. I'm gonna miss one of my shots. Come on. Oh my god, that was like minimum range shot right there. 
Danger close, Byron. I was getting crits on me. Yeah, so getting a boar pet as my first pet is probably the way to go. Because they're a tried and true kind of pet. Also, um, they're more convenient to have as a pet because you have to feed your pets. And certain kinds of pets only like certain kinds of food. And some kinds of food are quite hard to find, especially in this uh, area of the world. But boar pets, like real life boars, will just literally eat anything. Like, boars like all kinds of food. So you can feed boars really, really easily from just like meat you get from traveling around the world with no trouble at all. So. That's one big advantage to be sure. Boars will even eat uh, like boar meat, <laughs> you know, like they don't care, <laughs> which I think is uh, really cute. But uh, all right, we just need one more Craig boar rib, and then we'll go ahead and uh, turn this quest in and get the uh, the recipe and a uh, skedaddle. All right. all right. I need to not move until the auto attack. That's what I need to change. I know there's uh, add-ons out there that visualize the auto attack speed, and I may want to try downloading one of those to help me with this. It's like a timing thing. It's like everything in this game happens on the one second, like, ticks. Here we go. So, having an add-on that shows me, like, a visual of the one second tick can help me time myself for maximum DPS. You know, when you're just soloing, having super min-max DPS isn't necessarily as important as, like, PvP or dungeons and, and raids, but it's still, like, good to, to go out of your way to do that. Also, how much how much how expensive is the Rhapsody Mulk going to be? I guess I have a couple a couple silver now, so I should be okay. I can sell my goods as well. Let me see what the innkeeper sells it for. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but I kind of have a bad feeling about this. Oh, 50 copper, that's fine. I think I get more money than that from the quest anyways, so no worries at all. Here we go. No. I'm gonna need six Craig boar ribs and a mug of Rhapsody malt, Snubby. The malt is brewed, the boars are dead. Before all is done and anything said, we will have to fight for first dibs on these savory beer based in boar ribs. Wow, what a poet. There's just a perform spoken word performance of the year right there. Ooh yeah, this is a pretty good effect. Yeah, you can see here, the higher, like, level, as it were, um, cooking recipe gives you this extra bonus thing, as well as, uh, just what this would do. Hey, level six! Yes! Alright, so I can't learn this yet, because I don't have high enough cooking, but I will save it. And I will go over to the Hunter Trainer. Actually, first let me sell my extra goods. Um, I'm gonna put this back. Actually, you know what? Um, never mind. I'm gonna have the beer-based boar ribs the guy gave me. I'm going to store them in my bag for the future. I can sell, I think, the rest of this. Yep. Alright. Hunter Trainer. Alright, so now we can get... Uh, let's see here. Yeah, Arcane Shot and Hunter's Mark. They're both one silver. You can see already the, um, the cost of these abilities is increasing quite quick, so we're going to quickly find that getting new abilities is a giant money sink. Fortunately, we're not dealing with the same, you know, ability, um, kind of a, what do you call it? The amount of abilities that a lot of magic classes have, like like mages and priests get so many abilities that it's kind of overwhelming for your budget, but fortunately we're a bit more meager here. But this is a huge boost to our DPS right here. One issue we're going to have, though, is again that 8 to 35 yard range. We have to still keep far enough at range, so... I may just have to mix this in with uh, Serpent Sting, that's probably the, the plan. That Hunter's Mark is great, increasing uh, the attack power of all attackers on the target by 20. That is a big DPS boost right there. And once we have a pet, that's helping both me and my pet as well, which is great. Yeah, because my attack power is 41, so that's a giant boost if that's uh, the same calculation. Let's get these on the bar. Um, let's see. Yeah, so this is not a sting, so I can have this as well. Uh, how do I do this? I think this is fine for now. Hunter's Mark. I'll throw... Uh, let's see... Yeah, I'm going to put Escape Artist, actually. Well, uh... Let's have Alt. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, I think we're good to go. Um, I definitely want to get uh, a copper vein. So let me look at my quest now. So we could go to Iron Forge. Uh, we could also go to... Oh, yeah, so this guy is near Grizzle Den, so this guy will give us some more quests as well. Go to Brunal. Go to, yeah. Um, okay, let's let's tempt fate and head towards Grizzle Den. I think that's the camp down there. So, let's see what awaits us down here. <laughs> also, before we go, um, let me quickly check and see if I can buy a new gun, because I think I'm still using my starting gun, which is fine, but 1.5 DPS is really not cutting it too much anymore. And I'm assuming... I guess I could uh, check the engineer trainer in that other building, but I'm assuming I don't have access to any... Uh, yeah, okay, where do I buy guns, actually? Probably a, a bowyer will sell guns? Are there any bowyers around here? Uh, hmm. I don't even know if I can get a, a new gun at level 6. Uh, let me go over to that house and check over there. Well, no, there, there's no, like, bowyers there is the issue, or, like, gun sellers. Hmm. I'm pretty sure the gun vendor, I think the lowest level gun that's, like, like, the lowest level one that's sold from a vendor is, like, level 11 or something. I may just have to, you know... Uh, let me go and look at the engineering thing, because I can't... I can't see, uh, unlearned en engineering, uh... Uh... What do you call it? Recipes? I have to go look at a trainer to see what's ahead. So I'm gonna go look at the engineering trainer to see when I can first get a gun from engineering. Because I think, uh... I may have to rely on engineering to get a new gun sooner rather than later. Also, I'm still using a pretty low-level uh, dagger, so I may want to look at that as well. Alright, let's uh, head in here. Talk to these guys. Okay. Alright, uh, let's see. Okay, 50 for rough boomstick. That's a big increase to DPS right there. Holy crap. Worth perhaps even grinding for, to be fully honest. I don't know what this is going to require, but in terms of like uh, what you need to make the recipe yourself, probably a lot. It's a rough copper bomb. That's really good. Hmm, engineering 50. What can I power what level? Can I, do for ya? I think I just need mining material, honestly. I think I just have to kind of like find it as I go. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to travel around in this area and get killed by a rogue bear looking for nodes. Let's just head down to the Wendigo area for now. I don't think I can get to 50, because, let me think about this. Um, what would this require? Because actually crafting rough blasting powder is also still a red uh, recipe, so I would get one level per. I'm already a lot of the way there thanks to being a gnome, right? Because I'm at, um, let's see, 16, so 50 minus 16, that's 44. 34, I don't, it's actually not that far away. 34 upgrades, or 34, like, level ups of engineering. I just need, like, I just need a lot of, of nodes to get that, though, and in the starting area, the node, like, spawn rate is not gonna be enough to compensate for the number of players around here, because a lot of people play the server hardcore, and so that a lot, there's a lot more people in the lower level areas, like, redoing hardcore attempts, if that makes sense. You know, we found the Grizzled Den, also. Um, so that's the camp down there, assumedly. We should go check that out. It's not fault of her death either. Uh, Rumble shots ammo. Yeah, let's go grab that. Also, I should check and see, make sure all the quest rewards, if I get anything from any of this. Not really. Yeah, this doesn't look promising for Rumble shots uh, situation here. Let's go return the ammo at least. Yeah, we can overturn this, and maybe we'll get a quest to go into the cave. Maybe we'll do that then. Ugh, yeah, this is gonna... Is, getting enough uh, materials to craft uh, stuff at level is gonna be tough. But, hey, that adds to the survival challenge, to be sure. Alright, let's head back over to Karnos and turn this uh, quest in. Well, hold on. Off the road to Anvilmar. Oh wait, this is to go to um, this is to go to the mortar guy. So yeah, let's actually head that direction now. 
We have to bring the ammo we picked up to the guys at the mortar. Alright, that's fine. We'll head there. Ooh. Copper vein. There's a bear in the way, but we can avoid the bear. There's two bears in the way. I see it. Target acquired. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I have the binding pick with me, which is a, a big win, so... Snubby is about to do her first bit of mining. Oh my gosh, this is exciting. <laughs> go, quick! I have to compete with all of these other players for this stuff. Something else that's nice about um, the server having such a big hardcore community is because of the lack of uh, trading and the auction house, uh, there's very little, if any... Uh, oh, I failed. Also, I can mine with the mining pictures in my inventory, which is good. I'm going to fail a couple attempts, probably, but we will eventually get it, I think. I hope. There we go. Hey, look at that. Two... Oh, we can mine it again? Holy crap! I forgot you can mine this multiple times. Copper ore. Oh my gosh. What a, uh... What a thing. Only uh, one mining skill up from that, but that is still... That's so much copper we just got. Holy crap. We can make rough blasting powder, yes. You know what? I think I can get the boomstick. I forgot that you can actually remine a node multiple times. Alright. We're on our way to the boomstick. Yes. Hell yeah. All right. All right, that's pretty good. So let's let's continue on to the mortar guys. If only they could tell me where they they get their powder, so I could go over and mine it. <laughs> I guess you don't get powder from like a node, but you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to make a witty commentary, but uh, yeah. So um, that's another thing I like about this. Uh, what, what do you call it? This uh, the server is that you feel like excited. Oh, <laughs> I just saw violence happening up there, and I just got startled. <laughs> I'm so jumpy. <laughs> that was a genuine start. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, the server really, and this is true for classic WoW as well. It really just like makes you feel so excited about finding one copper node. It's like the biggest deal on earth. All right, I don't know if this guy has like a quest chain for me, but I guess we'll see what he has to say. No, take our rumble shot at your service. Oh, he sells stuff. Oh, he's a gunsmith! Oh, holy crap, I didn't realize this guy... I thought there were no gunsmiths down here. Okay, this is huge. Oh, I want that gun. Oh, three damage per second. It's not as good as the boomstick, but this is a good thing to get in the meantime. Oh, holy crap. Okay, we need to get uh, enough m enough money for that. I hope you're not here for ammo, because I'm almost out. Great, more ammo! Old Lost Lord's shipment finally came through. The ammo might be late, but just like my granddaddy used to tell me, late's better than never. <laughs> Thank you much, adventurer. I already have buyers eager for this stuff. Why did he say that like that? Late's better than never. <laughs> right, he just gave me enough money to buy this thing from him. Oh yeah, I think this is worth it. That's a that's double the DPS on the gun. Yeah, I'm I'm investing what can it. I get for you today? No doubt. And we can sell our old gun for five copper, but you know, it's better than nothing. Yes! That's such a boost. Holy crap. If only I could use the gun more before they get into range. So I guess this quest was just to come meet this guy. There's like nothing else down here, I don't think. Um, I don't think I have any other quests that involve the Grizzled Den, but... Uh, I guess now that I'm level six... Did I go through Karanos and see if there's any quests over there? Let me run back to Karanos and see... I'm not sure, but what I think I will do as well is I'm going to save my Hearthstone and probably use it from within the Grizzle Den once I get all the mains, because it's a cave. Caves on Hardcore are um, very dangerous, to say the least, so <laughs> let's get into auto run here. All right, the session's off to a good start. I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully it's not too boring for all of you. It's a lot of grinding and a lot of, like, nervousness, but that's the uh, that's the fun of a a challenge like this, you know? is uh, every every like second I spend preparing is another second I live, right? And it's another second that can pay dividends later in terms of more time before I... Like, if I'm in a situation where I don't have any ammo, or I like don't have a high enough weapon, a high enough level weapon, or high enough DPS weapon, that could be the end of the run, and it's all for naught if it happens like that. So you gotta prepare, you gotta do everything you can to get ready, you know? I really like the vibe of that. 
Alright. I can't believe that guy <laughs> was actually a gun seller. That was a that was a big discovery. Very good. Also, there's probably unbothered nodes in the Wendigo cave, because so few people go down there to find those nodes. So I don't see any more quests around here. I think we're fine. It's annoying yeah, there's you can see the nodes down there. It's annoying that on the minimap there's no way without any add-ons to show available quests because a lot of quest givers just kinda have quests that are almost available but not quite. So you have to keep coming back to check, you know. Um yeah, we don't have a also what we can do oh no, I'm wrong about that. We need eggs for that. So we'll wait for now. Come back out. Alright, I think I think it's time to go in the cave. I don't think there's anything more that needs to be done around here. I'm just going to check really quick in this building, and then I'm going to go check the engineering area by the uh, the tanks to see if those guys have any more quests for me, and then I'm going to go in the cave. I could go to Brunal Village, which would probably be the smarter decision, but I think it's cave time. <laughs> we'll, we'll scope out and see what the levels are of those Wendigos. If they're like 7, 8, and 9, I may go to Brunal instead. I don't remember, honestly, the level ranges in Classic, so this is kind of a uh, a genuine question. Alright, any quest givers over here? I don't think so. No, no quest givers over here. Okay, it is uh, cave time. Let's head that direction. We've got the beer-basted the beer basted boar ribs <laughs> ready to use. Uh, two stamina and spirit for 15 minutes. Um, I probably... I don't think I'll do one before the first pull, but I may, if I need to heal faster between pulls to avoid mob pathing, I may eat those. I could also just save them for now. But uh, saving up, you know, food could always be a, a bad decision because it could lead to a death. There's a hunter trainer over here. What can I do for you? Oh, he has the same thing as the guy from the first area. I guess there's two hunter trainers. Interesting. Right. Okay. I think we're ready for when to go cave shenanigans, and survival. No Wendigo cave deaths happening here. Whew, okay, I am uh, nervous, but we, we have a gun upgrade. Let's see. Okay, level 5 Wendigo, that's a good sign. Also, we have Arcane Shot now. So, how do I do this? Okay, that's the move. Okay, level five is manageable. There's the main. This is, yeah, this is doable. I thought these guys would be much higher level. Maybe further in the cave they're higher level, but I think we're gonna be okay. And there's some nodes back there that I need to get. Although these guys are real close together, which I don't love. But you know what? I should mark these guys before I. Marking doesn't give them. Mom, one more. Oh, no, not quite. Yeah, marking is going to really help. These guys are blowing their breath at me. Should be okay. Alright. If it's one main purr, then we are in good shape here. Okay, I, I was nervous about this cave. Well, okay, level 6 and 7. I guess the young one who goes live outside. Oh god, they're really concentrated. Fortunately, with ranged pulling... This should be... Well, this guy is in the Hardcore Guild. I'm gonna team with this guy. Yes, there we go. Alright, now we can move through here very safely. I actually do the mark, because that will help the... Oh, I drew, I drew aggro. It's fine. Alright, now this area should be easy. The question is, is this warrior doing mining? There's a good chance he might be, in which case we have to race him to those nodes. Oh no, that guy pulled two. That guy's on hardcore mode as well, so we need to be careful not to let him die. That would be very sad. Oh, I pulled aggro. That's alright. Pull that one to go. Does he have food? Oh, he has food. All right, good. 
Good, good, good. Yeah, a, a warrior that doesn't have any food with him is uh, in serious trouble, <laughs> to say the least. Alright. Good. It's like having my pet already. Except it's a person, it's not a pet. Okay, this warlock is going to take that guy, that's fine. Alright, yeah, this is not as scary since I have people around here as well. Yeah, okay. You can see here, by the way, how much better things will be for my survival once I have somebody else regularly getting aggro. Now, that's another reason to have a high DPS pet like a cat. So, though, for this, uh, we'll see who gets it. That guy won it, that's fair enough. Uh, is he healing? What's he doing? Hey, come on. What's this guy's name? Uh, Astriac. Alright, another another character to add to the rogues gallery. So I can take this guy. I wonder if Hunter's Mark uh, tags them. I do not know. Oh, there's like a whole bunch of people in here now. Oh, that means people here might be miners. I've got to claim those nodes quick. See. Oh, there's so much chaos going on. Ooh, that's really good. <laughs> that item is really good. S was that 60 armor or like 30 armor for 60 seconds? That's a crazy buff I, c I can save for an emergency. Alright, let's do some extreme close range gunshots here. We almost have enough mains. But I'm not going to leave the party until I can get to those nodes, which I think are back here. Are the nodes back here? God, I can't, I can't tell where the nodes are. Alright, that's the last main. Hope he doesn't leave the party either. I'm going to keep exploiting his protection. And also the, uh, the XP from this does appear in no, one. He pulled two. Alright. Well, yes, you can cast it. There we go. Good stuff. Where? Okay, no, I see the node. The node's north. Come on, follow me. Come this way. Oh, the boomstick. It calls my name. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Get me! <laughs> yes! <laughs> All right, don't don't pull a bunch of people, please, if you can help it. Yes, mine again, mine more. <laughs> it's all mine. No, don't fail. <laughs> I hope this warrior waits for me. Oh, a third mine. <laughs> we can mine even more. Holy crap! Yes, so much copper. Yes, get fucked, warlock. <laughs> no mining for you. I think there's more nodes ahead as well. Alright, there's like a whole bunch of people here right now, so we have to keep waiting. Alright, um... I can't... are there more over here? Like, where... Shoot, we missed the chest. That's too bad. Any nodes in the corners over here? I don't think so. What was this warrior doing? This warrior is just going in to fight. I guess we'll help him out, sure. We are a bit low on bullets, which I'm just noticing now, which is a problem. And uh, we cannot get more without smelting the copper we have, which could be a problem. I think when I run out of bullets, I uh, have to leave the party and uh, wish him luck. I could probably, like, fight in melee, but I don't need to be in here any further, just to get some XP. Hold on. Let's we'll see if he, uh, stays to help me with my little quest. Okay. Oh, the cute little uh, T 
team up. <laughs> Thanks, baby. All right, being flirted at by Santa over here. Okay, I think there's one more copper node. Oh god, that Wendigo spawned right on me. I think there's one more copper node up to the, like up on the upper level. So let me try to go up here. I can kill one Wendigo in melee pretty safely. But this this little like side venture is worth it to get one more copper node. Alright. Let's uh, play this real carefully. I may also exploit the warlock moving through here to get it a bit further in. Actually he is leaving, so never mind. We are going to eat one of these pure bastard boar ribs, and maybe even use 30 minutes. I mean, this might be the time for the 60 armor buff. That's a big buff to our armor. I may want to save it, but in the cave especially... Yeah, you know what? No playing around. Six extra armor. Uh, I know the node's not done that way. I would have seen it on the map, so let's head... Oh, it's right there! Holy shit, okay. Oh, we're almost there. I could have been further away from this. A micro mistake. Fire at that guy! Okay, shoot, okay. Not the best ranged pull, but we have the extra armor, so that's gonna help us out a lot. I've never been so excited in my life to see copper nodes. Can't believe it. Come on. Oof. Yes! Go, go, go! <laughs> Oh my gosh, and then I'm going to hearth out of here, because I don't think there's any more nodes behind me. I saw two nodes from the overworld map looking into the cave earlier, so I don't think there's any more nodes in here. Maybe one respawned, but that's a, a gamble, and I'm risking my literal life to do that. I've got so much copper now. Oh my gosh, please. Come on. They're respawning behind me. Come on. <laughs> it just... Give me that copper and I can get out of here. Once my mining levels up a bit, these, these failure attempts won't be as common. Oh, Shadow Jab! I can mine more as well! That's really good. I mean, I can't sell it on the auction house or anything, but that uh, could be quite handy. Alright, let's uh, hearth back over to um, Th uh, Thesselmart. I hearth back over to Karanos. Whew! Oh my gosh. All right, first things first, let's turn in the Wendigo main quest. Then we will get to Smelton. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, there isn't another copper vein down there. Okay, I think it respawned, but I'm not going back down there to get to that. Unless I really need to, but I don't think I will, hopefully. All right, we've made some serious progress towards the boomstick. <sighs> okay, good stuff. Yeah, that, that was lucky that we found a character doing hardcore mode so we could group with them. For these quests that require you to loot from the mobs, having an actual group going is so much better for you than just having someone you're following along awkwardly. What's on your mind? Hey, Snubby! Back been to the Grizzled Den yet? Those Wendigos can be fierce! Ah, uh, yes. These mains will work great. You show a lot of grit, adventurer. I will see great things from you. Thanks. And I think I can just smelt right over here. I don't know if there's an engineering, like, smelting thing down there, but maybe. There's a miner trainer, so maybe. Uh, unclear. I'll, yeah, we'll get back to that later. Um, although one thing I will do here is sell Hi. the stuff I know for sure Welcome I can sell. To uh, tough jerky I can sell, that I can sell, and this vault I'm gonna save for... I don't know if I can use the Shadow Gem as an engineer, but you never know, maybe that's, like, needed. And since I don't have access to the auction house, like, if a later on recipe needs something like that that I might not get consistently, I, I probably should put it in my bank, to be fully honest. Alright, um, is there a uh, smelting thing down here? Maybe not, actually. Maybe I have to go back to Karnos. No, I need a forge. Okay, fair enough. I'll go back to Karnos. When's the next mine up, mining uh, level up as well? You got my attention. Uh, 65, okay. I guess 50 first to get journeyman, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, let's head back to town and uh, get to smelting. I don't think we can craft anything too useful quite yet, but it certainly is a good start. Let's not run into all these bears. Alright, while I'm running, I'm checking my email. 
I'm a very smart WoW hardcore player, just like that. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like a couple of people have been liking the, the first video, which just went live, uh, I think, earlier today. And um, yeah, I'm glad to see it. Alright, this is surely a forge, right? Yeah, this this whole like structure is the forge. Okay. Let's get to smelting. <clears throat> this will take a second. But with mining, you can double dip by both getting mining XP from mining and also mining XP, or not XP, but mining level ups. Mining level ups from mining and mining level ups from smelting what you mine, which is a, a big way to speed this up. This is one big thing that mining has over herbalism, because with herbalism, you just you can use the herbs right away, but you can't double dip with it like this. The trade-off is that I think generally nodes are a bit more rare than herbs, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. Okay, now that we've done this, um, I actually don't... Can we engineer without a forge? I think we can, right? Well, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and actually sell my old bullets just for a bit more money. I think I need to see, save any... Uh, they have no sell price, so let's destroy them. Alright, um, I think 200 is probably enough, but I could play it safe. Actually, let me first get more blasting powder. I think 30 was the lowest for an engineer thing, so if I can get to 30 pretty soon. You know, honestly, if I had one more copper, I actually think I could get to 30, because then I could have 10 copper bars. Er, ho wait, hold on. Um, no, I need more blasting powder still either way. I guess I could just create a bunch of, of crafted light shot. I think the engineering trainer, um, let me look and see actually in the unavailable engineering recipes what my, my next level of bullet is. I may as well just like stock the hell up on bullets. I can have up to six stacks. Uh, uh, okay, I don't know what's going on. We have a worgen high elf? <laughs> okay. I'm crazy land here, but... um. Probably not the worst way to spend my, my resources is on tons and tons and tons of bullets. You know, <laughs> it could be good. I did come kind of close to running out there, and I'm, I'm paying attention to it, but you never know. Maybe I'll not notice it one time, and I'll be left without Hearthstone up and with no bullets. That would be a disaster. Let's go and see what we can do over here. Just a minor adjustment. Great to meet you. Alright, um, there's no way to, like, sort it, so I have to just look manually. Um, ooh, we can also upgrade guns with uh, engineering stuff. Okay, this is this is some good stuff here. Okay, crafted heavy shot, level 15, and 75 engineering. That's a ways away for sure. Yeah, I think uh, by the time we're like level 15, we can maybe use hundreds of, of bullets. So let's uh, get to craft, and I think, I think crafting, what would this be, a thousand cr crafted light shot? I think this is a worthwhile way to spend our copper bars and rough blasting powder. Because alternatively we could save it for dynamite, but I don't know if dynamite is like worth the linen cloth when I want the linen cloth for um, first aid as well. So it never hurts to just uh, play it safe. I also wonder if I can buy better ammo pouches. I wonder actually if um, vendors will sell them. I bet tailors can make them How as well. Anyways, this is as far down as this guy goes because he's just a journeyman engineer trainer. So. We don't know what the later on ones are, but see, there's see. more to come for sure. And it's incidentally, the next one he can train for me. Rough copper bomb and handful of copper bolts. So I think I think after one or two more nodes, we can actually reach those. Especially if we get some more rough stone to make more ba uh, powder. Okay, well now we have uh, re-upped on bullets, to say the least. Let me actually equip it in my ammo thing which would be smart. There we go. Let's not forget to do that. <laughs> That's something that you may forget to do, and that that would be a bad if you've got to load your gun before going into combat. Okay, what next? Um, I think we go to Brunel Village now. I don't think there's anything else to do in town at the minute, so Brunel Village is going to be to the west. And there's uh, some troll, frost troll-related quests over there, I remember vaguely. So let's uh, get to it. Alright, I feel much more confident about my engineering decision, like, my decision to go engineering now that I see what's ahead. Being able to craft my own, like, higher level bullets, and also, um, guns, is... I'll, let me check and see if this gnome here has this quest available yet, because I was level 5 when I came here before, I think. But yeah, if I had gone alchemy, I think that, um, it would still be handy, but I think I can manage actual combat healing just fine. Or not combat healing, because I don't have that, but 
combat survival just fine. It's the in, like, uh, it's the coming to. Oh, let's not run into the wolf land over here. I kind of want to go back down to get more copper, but we'll, we'll find more copper sooner or later. I could try to troll and uh, follow someone else and just like use them as a as a guard to get to the copper vein. But I I think we're okay. If I if I can't find any copper in the overworld anywhere, I may go back down to the Wendigo cave and uh, do my little scheme. <laughs> So we'll get to that when we get to that. Also, we are now entering a much uh, more bright area, or like more kind of foggy area, I guess. We could, I guess, go up to Ironforge, but I don't really think we need to quite yet. Um, there's no no reason for us to go up there. We could learn fishing up there, but there's not really like a lot of water around here. Where on earth is Broomall Village, by the way? I think it's this direction, right? It said west of Ironforge, or west of uh, Karanos, I mean. I'm just going to head this direction and hope that this is uh, where I need to go. Let me read the quest text again, maybe? I'll listen to it, actually. Each old barley brew experiments with his brews. Some of them taste good, some bad, and some, well, some will lay all but the stoutest dwarf flat. He lives at Brunol Village, west of Karanos, and one of his drinks, Evershine, is what I want. It'll help keep me warm while I'm on the cold road, and... The blessed stuff burns so hot I can throw it in Jet Steam's furnace for a burst of power. That little tactic has gotten me out of more than one tight spot. I'm not sure if this is the way. It's in. It's on the west side of the map somewhere, but I don't remember. I mean, we're we're in like a pretty like safe area. I mean, these are higher level enemies, but we're not being attacked by everybody, so we're okay. I guess we'll just see what's. I know Nomergan's over here, but I, I don't remember exactly where Brunel Village is. If I see, like, level 9s and 10s, I may run back, because <laughs> I may have come from the wrong angle. And I think it's south of here, but I just, I don't remember exactly where, what the way to get to it is. It's just ahead. Okay, Evershine, oh yeah, the Evershine recipient's over here, so we're, we're in the right area. Okay. I was not wrong. The road just loops away in the north for some reason. Alright. I think that might be the camp over there. Let's not get attacked by leopards. I guess we could also train the cats here, the snow leopards. We'll see what ends up happening. Also, there's no nodes anywhere on my map. I've been looking carefully, but I haven't spotted any. Not ideal. Whew. All right. lot of red mobs around here. Not the biggest fan of that, but so far so good. You can see just how many herbs are out in the open around here. One thing with uh, mines, or with nodes at least, is at least all of them appear next to like elevated terrain like mountains. Certain herbs live in certain areas, like peace bloom grows in flat open areas. Earthroot basically grows where, no where uh, ore nodes are. Like, every kind of uh, herb has a different spawning location. You have to kind of learn where they all like to spawn. What is this, like, pathway? Like, where, where on earth am I? I've gone around the entire map. Once I... I think Brunel Village is... Okay, I found... Oh, there's Brunel Village right there. Yeah, I've, I've discovered Nomergan. It's over here. Um, let me see how close I can get, actually. Before there's high-level opponents ahead of me. But yeah, leper gnomes. Let's not go that direction. <laughs> I think we just have to cut straight south. So, w w was there like a road f west from Karanos to Brunel? What? Where is? Okay, unclear what's going on. But let's go to. Let's just go straight to Brunel. I like to travel on the roads as best I can, but um, I think that's the warlock from the cave, by the way. But uh, I don't know how I would have gotten to Brunel like on road, except for the way that I went. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah. So I was looking at the wrong the wrong campsite earlier. It's a big frozen lake. Is this a fishing trainer? It's a fishing supplies lady. Any fishing training over here? What's on your mind? Ooh, that is good to grab. Let me put my copper bars back here, by the way. This way, if I fish up small fish, I can cook with them. Fishing's mostly great as a supplement to cooking. Um, if you don't want to do cooking, there's not really any reason to get fishing, normally speaking. Alright, here's Brunel Village. Okay. How do I... 
Is there like a road here? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. Whatever the case, <laughs> we've made it to Brunel Village. Talk to me. Curse that Brewers League. They have access to all the best ingredients while we're stuck here grubbing for grain and hops. Fellow Fizz needs some of my Evershine. All right. I have a cask of Evershine handy, but can you do me a favor? Brunel Village could use a hand against the wild animals that wander the nearby snows. Sometimes they wander close. We're not afraid of these bears and cats and boars. No self-respecting dwarf would be. But if you can take care of those animals for us, then we'd have more time for our crafting and brewing. All right, fair enough. It's pretty straightforward kill quest. There's some more, though. The perfect stout. I'm on a quest, a quest to make the perfect stout. I know I can do it. Brewing's in my blood. I just need to find the right recipe. The Frostmane trolls grow a plant, shimmerweed, high up in the hills to the east. <laughs> they use it in their strange tribal rituals. We dwarves haven't found much use for it, but it has a unique taste. And I want to experiment with it in my brews. Get me some shimmerweed from Frostmane seers, or swipe it from the troll shimmerweed baskets. I remember this quest. Watch, get it back. Okay, we may be heading up to the shimmerweed heights. I have to admit, those thunder brews make some good drinks. But they need to learn that theirs isn't the only decent brew. Maybe you can help me teach them that lesson. Here, take this barrel of barley brew scalder. Sneak into the basement of the Thunder Brew Distillery in Karanos and switch it with one of their barrels of Thunder Ale. Then we'll see how their patrons like my brew over theirs. And if the barrels are guarded, then you might have to distract the guard. Okay. Co corporate espionage? Alright. I could buy some better armor, but it's very expensive to buy vendor armor at this point, so I think I may hold off on that idea. Uh, okay, let me think about the quest here. Uh, yeah, Shimmerweed's considered a red quest, which I think is probably a correct assessment, so let's do the animal quest first. Ice Claw Bears, Elder Craig Boars, and Snow Leopards. That sounds pretty doable. Right, um... I think I'm going to head south first and sort of see what's down here. We'll just kill along the way. Alright, Elder Craig Wars, let's start with this guy. Alright, let's see how my new setup does. Took him to about half health before he got to me, so that's a good start. I really need some sort of slow. This is a uh, this is brutal. Come on. All right, that was not the best uh, showing in the world there. So that's a uh, yikes. <laughs> um, we'll save our the. Uh, these ribs, because we don't have high enough cooking to make use of them, but we will eventually. I'm gonna save chunks of boar meat so I can cook them for for cooking uh, progression as well. May as well, right? We need to get to 25 to use the uh, beer bastard boar ribs. Yeah, that guy took out like. Uh, 65, 70 percent of my health just by himself. That was with full range pull as well. This is gonna be brutal. <laughs> I'm not even sure I want to attack the bear. I guess I have to, right? I've just gotta go for it. Alright, we're at full health. Alright, let's go for it. One more shot. Yes, alright. Oh, that's not a great debuff to have. Oh, don't dodge my attacks, bear! This is really bad. Alright, we're running. I'm running. Come on. I need to not face my back to him, because he'll daze me. I have to strafe on the road so there's less chance of enemies. Oh no, 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 no! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, we almost died. Okay, uh, 
yeah, level eight bears may be a little beyond our our abilities at the minute. Let us uh, head the hell back to this camp. <sighs> oh my god, well, that was almost it right there. What can I do? For oh my god! All right. Uh, shoot, I don't know if I'm high enough level for Brunel Village yet. Perhaps not. Um, I guess I can go to the Bitter Rivals quest at least. All right. Uh, I I can't hearth back. I have to just run back. I'm gonna run back through the south to try to discover what on, what on earth is like down here. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, this is grim. <laughs> I am. Uh, the issue is once I get into melee, I just don't have the melee tools right now. I really need like a better melee weapon. I think what I should do is once I get back to Karnos, I should try to figure out if I can buy a higher DPS melee weapon. What is, what is, like, down here? If I see uh, a boar that's below level 8, I think I'll go for it. What is over here? More snow leopards. What does the quest mean? I can probably take on a level 7 snow leopard. Alright, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Going to this is looking a bit more promising. The issue is snow leopards are very fast, so if I've miscalculated that I can kill him before he kills me, I can't get away <laughs> real easily, so. Oh god, this is brutal. Come on. Stop parrying me. How is he even parrying me? He has claws. Okay, uh, let's run back to the road so I'm not getting attacked by another mob. Although, first. Uh. Let's use this. Alright. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> I uh, am nerve-wracked around this area. Although I, I just want to see what's in the, the corner over here. There's something over here. I just gotta know, you know. Maybe I can take a, a fight here or there on the way. Oh, it's a it's like a troll area. Okay. Um, I'm gonna discover it really quick just so I know I remember where it is, but I'm not gonna get too close. I can probably take on. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. I can probably take on these uh, elder crag boards as well. No, I'm not gonna mess around. Let's just head back to Karnos. I could probably do it, but you know, a couple too many missed attacks and melee, a couple too many. Uh, boar um, crits, and I'm dead. So let's uh, play it safe. Just come back south. I guess this is the western route that was being talked about earlier. Let's swing back around, essentially, to uh, Karnos and um, turn do the uh, the espionage quest. Switch up the. Um, hold on. Huh? Who the hell is that? There's like a there's an elemental up there. What? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go talk to that guy. What the fuck is this? The <laughs> 55 Elemental Great Spirit of Winter? Okay. I don't know if this is some weird... Like, I don't know if I'm in danger here, but I gotta... I gotta see what this is. There's a bear right next to him, though. Watch where the bear go. Can he see me from here? Spirit gaze as long as your soul is cold and... Un okay, I don't know what that is. Is a shaman thing? I, I, I don't know. There's no shamans on the Alliance on the server, so... I don't know what that's about. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm getting sketched out by that. Got a spooky elemental just hanging out. Alright. Once I'm level 7, I'll probably be ready to take on favor for Evershine, but for now, let's just uh, play it safe. So squeeze through here. So I guess this is the route that we want to go through. Okay. And honestly, I haven't really seen any nodes at all anywhere. So I kind of think I might go back in the cave. Also, I'm going to discover Childress Valley. There we go. 
um, just so I can for sure get some more guaranteed nodes. And I, I can probably make it through even without someone else there. Um, I just, I kind of want to get up to 30 uh, engineering at least, but um, I just need some more rough stone. Let me go to Karnos first, and then we'll, we'll see how I'm feeling. We may be reaching one of many points in the playthrough where I don't really have a good next quest to get to work on right now. So I need to do a little bit of a grinding, as it were. Although grinding mobs for XP with my current setup where I have 50% less mob XP is obviously not going to be very effective. It'll, if I'm going to grind anything, it's going to be grinding nodes for more resources. Also, I'm in the middle of a lot of very angry animals, so let's uh, get out of here real quick. Let's not play around like that. Can I go up this hill? I sure hope so. Come on, snubby. Yeah, hop your way to safety. Good stuff. Alright, we're back on the main road. Safety, <laughs> sort of. More more safe, at least. Alright. That armor bonus is about to end. So those close calls were with the armor bonus, by the way. So without that scroll in effect... I actually don't think I could kill those those animals over in that western area at the minute. Which I guess is uh, fair enough. So we'll go back there later. For now, let's go to this uh, Karnos thing. I don't remember if there's like an enemy you fight in the in the the brewery when you do this with the uh, the tap, but there may be some Ooh, hold on. That copper vein down there is a uh, back again. I don't know if it's the same one, but I think it might be. Drop everything I'm doing to go over here. Come on, where is it? Yes, there it is. All right. Oh, oh, holy shit! There's another one. <laughs> okay, it's copper time. All right, Snubby. Now's your time to shine. Get those little arms swinging. Yes. <laughs> More copper for me. We're one step closer to the uh, the small boomstick. Small boomstick for a small, you know, lit literally like a snub nose boomstick. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's up there. All right. Let's ascend our way up. As a uh, historic Elder Scrolls Online addict, um, the rarity of these resources. Oh no! Oh! 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 My heart! I thought I was dead there, but I was fine. Yeah, I, I play. Um, I've played Elder Scrolls Online a lot over the last like decade, and um, compared to WoW, that game has like enormous amounts of uh, of uh, like gatherable resources everywhere, and I really like the way this is balanced instead. Like that game is really fun in a lot of ways, and I I largely like it more than Retail WoW, but I think I like this more than ESO. So I've got to not fall to my demise here. Uh. All right, here we go. Literally, like a risky mining venture up here. Yes. <laughs> We're getting them all each time now because our mining skills increased enough. That is so nice. Oh, a fourth one, yes. <laughs> yes, more for me. Oh, okay. I thought I had a fifth one. I think I'm actually gonna go in the cave. Like I, I feel, I feel emboldened by my, my mining success. Although, let me look in this valley here. I think this area back here might be a bit less um, trafficked, so I might find I might find some more nodes. Let me just scout it out really quick. I can also use my pet to scout out using Eyes of the Beast later on. Tundred Hills, okay. I don't know if there's any nodes back here, but... I mean, nodes can spawn in lots of places, but you never know where they've spawned at the time. Alright. And I could get an add-on to like scan for nodes, but that feels a little like like cheating, you know? Like the add-ons that I'm using, the voice add-on doesn't really help my gameplay at all. It's just really funny. And the the nameplate add-on, which I just realized I'm not I've not been using, my nameplates are off, so whoops. The nameplate or at least I think they're off. The nameplate add-on um just helps me like read in-game info easier. It doesn't like do something that the, the normal game doesn't already have happening, if that makes sense. To me, that's like kind of a kind of a particular like distinction, but it's one that matters to me. Um, like mods, like for example, a mod that added invisible quest markers on the minimap 
would to me feel over the line in terms of changing the core experience, because then you know where all the quests are by default, which um, isn't how Vanilla WoW was designed. Whether that was good or bad design is a whole different question, but that's not how it was meant to be originally. Yeah, so I'm not seeing any nodes at all anywhere, so I think we just go back to Karnos. That's fine, we picked up a lot of nodes on the way, so I can't complain too much. Actually, we're south of Karnos, what am I, what am I doing? Let's head up here. I guess we could go back in the cave. Let me see if there's a group running in, or like in the, near the front. Or actually, let me, let me run over the top of the cave and look and scout and see if there's any in there. Which we can fortunately do. It would be over here, I believe. When you're in the cave, your minimap zooms way in, so you can't see the nodes as easily. But you can from outside the cave. You can look through the the earth. I actually don't see any in the grizzled den, so maybe I'm saving myself a trip here. Yeah, I don't see any at all up here, so I think we're good. We picked up a couple on the way, so that is fine. Also, I think that's a quest we can pick up over here. No, that's still that's still uh, silver, so never mind. Let's first go and do the um, the quest in the, uh, uh, the brewery over here, refinery, or uh, distillery, I guess is what you call it. All right, I think it is um, in the back. They said maybe in the basement. Here we go. Guarded by who? I don't see anybody here. Grab a Jarvan Thunderbrew. Oh, there he is. You got my attention. Hmm. This is. There is all this booze down here, but I have strict orders not to touch it. If only I could get a taste of some of our Thunder Ale, that would sharpen my wits. No lying. Okay, I think I need to buy him some Thunder Ale to get him to leave. All right. You sell Thunder Ale. You do? Alright, well, there we go. Hey, Jarvan. I've got something for you. For me, you're a true hero adventurer. <laughs> what can I do? Alright, see you later. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and uh once he leaves, I can hopefully interact with this. There we go. The data on the barrel shows that it'll soon be tapped. You quickly place Marleth's barrel of barley brew scalder among the Thunderbrew barrels. Return to Marleth. Having inserted a barrel of Marleth's scalder into the Carnage Distillery cellar, you grab a barrel of Thunder Ale as proof of your deed. Alright, now we have to go back. Um, but before we do, let's do some smelting and whatnot. Ooh, I think I do want to make more of this. I think I need to save the stone for anything. Probably not, right? I'll get to work on that. Ugh. This will bring us to 30. I'm going to save the rest of my rough blasting powder. I don't think I need any more bullets at the minute. We have more than enough for a while. Then I'll go and smelt my uh, copper I picked up. I think we can learn those next couple engineering things. We may as well uh, smell copper. Here we go. All right. Before I smelt them all, I'm going to check one quick thing. What the vendor value of a copper ore, five copper for copper ore, versus... Is it 90 per copper bar? Hold on. Oh, it's 10 per copper bar. Okay, it was just counting all the 10 together. All the 9, 10 copper bars together. Okay, so it is it is more valuable to, to smelt them and then sell them. If I were to sell them. That's not the best use of them, though. I can make 10 copper by killing, like, one animal. So that is a, not a great way to do that. Let's head over to the engineering guy and um, see what our new recipes are. Also, cooking-wise, we have no more cooking to do at the minute. That's fine. <sighs> okay. 
This has been a nice and relaxing uh, recording session. With one close call so far, but we live, <laughs> which is what matters. Alright, down here. In we come. Just a minor adjustment here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Infill copper bolts and rough copper bomb. Okay, this is a bit more promising. Suns targets for one second. That's really good. That is definitely really good. Um, I'm gonna need 20 more to get to rough boomstick. Ooh, wait a minute. That's one copper bar per. I need a blacksmith hammer for those. I can buy one of those. I can get to 40 engineering right now. Damn, alright. And that gives me nothing new, but I think I do want to do that. Although I don't know if I need all the copper bolts for anything. I probably need copper bolts for the boomstick. I can't see the... Um, I don't, I'm not going to look it up either. I'm, I've made a decision to not like look up um, stuff in terms of like recipe info. Like I'll, I'll look up like general things, like how like pet families work like loosely to get a sense of it, but exact recipes I'm not going to look up. I'm going to actually try to like find them out myself. It adds to the, uh, the challenge and the feeling of immersion. Or I might like ask in game or whatnot, but... Uh, you know, nowadays there's entire websites, you know, like WowWiki and WowHead. You can find that stuff out. Um, I mean, technically the light shots might be a bit more useful to have than the bolts, but you never know. And I could just craft the bolts just so I get more engineering XP, even if I don't end up using them all for anything. So Blacksmith Hammer is pretty cheap. I do have to have it in my inventory, which is irritating, but that's fine. We'll have a lot of stuff just stored up in the inventory. Also, I don't think I need the water, to be fully honest. I'm going to sell that. Um, it's all over here. Alright, that's fine. And then, I guess, I guess I'll craft these and then, I'm gonna do it right here, I guess. I'm gonna craft these and keep them. I don't know if I can use them later for, for something, but may as well craft them. One copper per engineering level is uh, worth it, I think. We're getting really close to getting the rough boomstick, and that will be a big DPS boost. Now it's just a matter of actually being able to stay at range long enough, and that's going to really come down to leveling up high enough to get a pet or a stun. Now we can't get uh, red from uh, rough blasting powder. That's fine. Ooh, someone reached uh, level 60 became immortal. Good for them. We can also sell these for actually not, not an insignificant amount of money. Because um, let's see, 10 copper bars is exactly one silver. So this is actually good to know, um, because a copper ore is 5 copper per, so 10 of them would be 50 copper. A copper bar is one is 10 copper per, so 10 of them is 1 silver, because 1 silver is 100 copper. And so if I actually just go through the, the work of making turning these into copper bolts, they do actually sell for a um, more money. So if anything, I can use um, mining and engineering to sell copper like materials in their best form for the most money, like at the minute at least. Of course, I want to save these for crafting purposes. I don't know if I'll need them for, for other things. Probably I do. This sounds, yeah, these are parts. So you probably need parts for a lot of things. So I'll keep them for now. We are low on money again. All right. What next? I guess. Oh, you know what? Uh, let me go back in here and look at the weapon vendor. Having a better melee weapon would change everything. Great to meet you. Right. Okay, that's a big. Okay, these are very expensive. Ooh. Okay. This is a conundrum. Okay, I think here's the plan. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to head back to Marlith, and also try very carefully to kill some of these animals on the way. Um, well, hmm. Okay, I have two options here. The safe option is to actually kill lower level boars to get boar meat to get more cooking experience to help with my cooking progression, and also to get the vendor loot from boars to sell to get enough money to buy a better weapon. And then with the better melee weapon, I can fight the higher level animals in the west and do that quest. And this would involve grinding, which uh, 
I haven't had to do it like specifically yet in, in the playthrough, but I feel like it's coming up pretty soon here. Also, I don't have a lot of like good armor, so being able to get more money to buy better armor would be a game changer. Alternatively, the risky move is I go and I just start by fighting the higher level animals with, you know, a good gun and good ammo, but not a great melee weapon. And really, they get they catch up to me within, like, 40-50% of their health damage, and then it's a melee fight. And I, I actually kind of think I do need to do the grinding. I really just don't want to play around. That bear situation was a, a too close of a call. So so this grinding has multi-purposes. I think what I'm going to do... Actually, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stay around the, the cave area, or maybe I go back down to that area where those nodes were spawning a ton earlier. I think that might be the better approach. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna kind of stay around this area and look for, okay, not that one, but look for boars to kill to get chunks of boar meat to uh, level up my my cooking. Because I once I get to, because um, I've been saving them, uh, once I get to 25 cooking, I can learn that recipe, get one more bag slot back, and I can then cook the Craig boar ribs. I think I need beer with that too, but uh, that can give me more cooking to work with. And keeping cooking uh, leveled up as I level is really important. I should not uh, overlook it. So I'm keeping engineering leveled up and mining, but cooking as well I need to attend to. And as for like fishing, um, I'll worry about fishing later. There's not even a fishing trainer out here, so just got to do what I got to do. Honestly, killing lower level enemies uh, when you're doing hardcore mode is a... Uh, not the worst idea. Yeah, these boars are real easy to take, to take care of. And since I'm doing the grinding anyways, I may as well grind a little further than I need to. Because I could, there are two weapons. I can buy the stiletto, I think it was, for like three silver or something. Or the hand axe or whatever that was, the tomahawk for four silver. I'd rather buy the more expensive one if I'm going to grind anyways, right? May as well go that extra distance. That's the move. These boars are really safe to fight, so sorry about the grinding, but has to be done. Also, hitting level 7 would be a big relief. Maybe I should actually open with the Serpent Sting now that I think about it. That's probably the better move, honestly, because then the, DP the damage over time is longer to take effect. These guys are not dropping a lot of vendor loot, I'm noticing. Well, let, let me think about this. Marlith gives me one silver, 74, 75 copper, which gives me part of the way. And there may be a follow-up quest after that, I'm not sure. Hmm. Let me head over within... Uh, mini-map line of sight of those those node areas that I keep seeing over and over. Let's see if, uh... So these guys are higher level. Let's maybe head over here, perhaps. Kill some more Craig Boars on the way. Some sniper shot. Alright. So far, so good. I think this is all worth it in order to get, increase my DPS. I just... You know, I'm maybe I'm being overly cautious here, but I feel like uh, I would rather take more time and not die permanently, right? Like, it's so easy to get complacent, because you're doing okay so far, but this is this is like a genuine RPG game. Like, your your character progression with DPS and whatnot and armor is so central to your success, right? Like, actual kind of player skill in combat is a, not been... It's not the priority here over your character's stats and whatnot. All right. I should use Serpent Sting first. That was a mistake. Not a huge problem, but it's annoying. Alright. There we go. 
I'm gonna eat one of these ribs actually to get the uh, well-fed thing in effect. There we go. Any nodes to be seen around here? Not really. I'm gonna kinda creep along the exterior here and kill boars as I go. so much meat on him. <laughs> Alright, let's head this way. Any nodes at all around here? Not really. You're killing this guy here. That was pretty clean. I'm just getting more practice with my, like, range uh, meta, you know, my style. Alright, here we go. No meat for me, or nodes. I think the play now, honestly, is... I think I'm gonna run back to... I'm gonna run back over to the Brunel village from the southern route, I think. And maybe try, well, let me not be stupid here, maybe try to take a couple animal fights on the way, but mostly just go and complete the quest and sell all the stuff there, see how much I have, and then I can hearth back to Karnos, assuming there's no more quests there that I could think I can do. I've got to keep in mind that I'm going to perpetually be a little underleveled just from quest XP, thanks to the, the challenges that I have, so we may need to do some grinding either way. got a fifth one off. That would have been crazy. Nope, oh, none for me. <sighs> Alright, let's head on back. Not to mention hitting level 7 will give me a bit more confidence at fighting some of those animals in the west. Alright, actually, not head on back. Let's head over to Brunel Village, and then we'll hearth back to Karnos once uh, we get back over there. Keep scouting for nodes. I'm going to go in a slightly weird way through the middle, in case there was nodes on the mountains. Ooh, this might be a little risky, but I think I can handle this. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? <laughs> who, who was that? I've got a ghost yelling at me. Alright, let's not have the fall damage noise, please. That is, uh, disturbing. Makes me quake in my boots. Alright, let's just... Who? What? <laughs> What's going on? There's just there's just someone yelling like in the ether. I do not know what that's about, but I am out of here. <laughs> I'm not sticking around for the the ghost. Oh, for like, I'm already dealing with the goofy AI voice generation. Now I've got goofy AI ghosts yelling at me. Let's just get out of here. Maybe kill some boars along the way. Oh. was not a very optimal pull, but that's fine. Yes. Lots of meat. Alright. Good, good, good. Ooh. There's copper up there in the valley. I think I might go up there. I'm so close to the boomstick. The rough boomstick. 
I know that my issue at the minute isn't my range damage not being enough, it's my melee damage not being enough, but this is still so close. Because I can also possibly make more than one and sell them to vendors for presumably a lot of money. Once I make one, and I before I equip it... Oh, there's so much copper. Ooh! Okay, I'm going to save that as well. Yes. Alright, I'm going to go south first to grab that copper node, yeah. I think... I think we're actually going to get to Boomstick in this video. Damn, that's... that's crazy. So what I'll do is, once I get back... once I finish at the, um... the Brunel Village, I'll, uh... when I hearth back to Karnos, I'll run over to the Engineering guy and, um... train up to Boomstick, because I think I'll have enough once I get all this copper. Okay, yeah, this is better than just trying to farm boars for meat, honestly. And, uh, vendor loot. They're not giving me a lot of, like, tusks and whatnot. The drop rate's so low. Now, without a pet to help with DPS, the grinding's a bit too slow to justify. Hopefully all of this grinding is still engaging, because any... Like, any mob that I, like, really, like, completely, like, lose my mind with and don't do my rotation the right way could kill me if I'm not careful, right? Even in grinding. So, it really is, like, actually kind of important to not goof around. Every fight could be fatal, so hopefully that makes... Oh god. Okay. Um... This... Oh, yeah, we're running. Yeah. I didn't have the chance to do a, a pre... No, stop. Stop. Put the weapon away. No, stop. Stop attacking him. Stop. Okay. This is a problem. He's gonna follow me for longer because I attacked him. So he's not gonna rubber band back soon. Oh my god. Oh, god damn! I was just talking about hardcore having all this danger. Holy shit, Snubby. You've got to stop stabbing him when I tell you to stop. God damn, alright. I cannot zone out here. i got to pay attention. Yeah, what I was saying a minute ago is that hopefully all the grinding is still really interesting to watch because of the extreme risk. And that was just like a random like pull. All of my power is in ranged combat, and I can't like slow them down at all uh, until I get Concussive Shot, which I think is level 8. So i got to move through this area with extreme caution here, or uh, fight my way through. I think I will pull this guy properly at range with uh, damage before he gets to melee range. That, that, there we go. This is a much more fair fight now that he's almost dead. <laughs> okay, good. That still brought me down like 30% health total. Of lost, I mean, not like 2-30% health. The first fight brought me down to 30% health, but that one was a bit better. So this, this like valley area I think is a bit more dangerous, but if I can just move through very carefully, I should be able to grab the copper vein. With a little bit of precision. Chill Breeze Valley. Come on, it must still be there, right? It's just north of my map. It's, it's so close. Come on, no hard, hard enemies ahead, please. Okay, that guy's pa- oh, don't attack him! Don't- no, 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 no! Weapon goes away! Weapon goes away. Nope, not the gun. Weapon goes away. Don't attack that guy, <laughs> Stubby. Oh, alright, I'm backtracking. I think this just spawned behind me. And it's above ground as well. Oh god, I hope it's not on top of the mountain. Let's go get this route before somebody else grabs it. Fortunately, around here, there's a, f a bit less traffic, so we should be able to... The downside is that we're less likely to get saved by somebody if we were getting slaughtered by a, a bear. So, let's move around with extreme carefulness. Oh, there's a guy right there. Okay. I don't know. Oh, he's hearthstoning. Interesting. How, how do I get up here? Okay, let me... Uh, God. Uh, don't pull the bear. Uh. God, this thing's on top of the mountain. How do I get up there? Holy crap. Let's go around like this. Alright, here we go. This is my route. Come on. Oh, yes! Yes, there it is! <laughs> it's worth it. And now I can be on top of the mountain. There's a cave entrance there and uh, see if I can spot more more mines uh, below me. This is the way. This is the way. See, this is, you know, this is why I like that this is all pre-BC, on top of, like, the storytelling issues I have with Burning Crusade. Not having any flying mounts in the game at all completely changes your feeling of, like, 
Literal, like, literally it's more grounded. Literally more grounded. Alright, come on. Let me get on top of this, please. Oh, it, it evens out so close up here. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall to my death if I'm not careful right here. Oh god, this is so... Oh! Okay, we're not gonna mess around there. Let's just go through the valley like, uh... I was planning to initially. Alright. Yeah, we can definitely hit. one With one more, we can definitely... One more, um... No, I mean, we can definitely hit 10. Or, uh, hit 50. Engineering. So we're almost there. Alright. Alright. It's gotta be in here somewhere. There's corpses around here. That's not a good sign. Oh my god, what is this? Meat? I think there might be... Oh yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> He's a level 11 elite. Holy crap, okay, we are keeping the fuck away from that guy. I hope the the node isn't in his cave. It probably is where it is, right? God, I, let me up, <laughs> come on. This is anti-gnome discrimination. Let me, let me hop up here. Alright, I'm gonna run really, 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 really carefully to look in this cave. There's corpses in the cave. That's not a good sign. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is, there's a quest to go and get that, probably. Not a fan of the look of that. Alright. Where is this node? It has to be around here somewhere, right? I know I'm following this yeti. Oh, hold on. It's it's underground over there. If there's like another cave maybe. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for this guy to pass, honestly, assuming he can't leash to me from here. If he can, we're in serious trouble because I don't have anywhere to go, and he might be faster than me. Stay as far up the mountain as we can, let this guy walk past. Going deeper into Chilpreeze Valley may not be the best idea, but I think if we're careful, we can pull this off. I just need a little bit more copper. <laughs> the quest for the Rough Boomstick is almost at its end, and Snubby's quest is hopefully not almost at its end. I think that might be inside the Grizzled Den, so I don't think we're going to be able to get to that. So I'll head up to Brunal Village from here. Oh yeah, there, that's all inside the Grizzled Den, I think corpses everywhere. Maybe around here someone's left a copper vein for me, but uh, things are not looking too promising. I may just have to go back in the den to, to get more copper from in there, honestly. That may be what has to happen. Ooh. Maybe in this cave there's something. So what, there was like a cave model at the top up there. I wonder what that is. I'll have to go look again. Maybe approaching this cave isn't the best idea. Ice flow lake. Oh, it's like a bear cave. I'm not going in there. No way. I'm not out of my mind. Let's look. Stick near the mountain. Oh, there's a bear up on the mountain. That's bad, because he may grab me if I'm too close. Oh, wait. There's a copper vein in the on the island in the middle of the lake. Let's go there. Oh, no. There's people around here. Oh, 21 human warrior. Don't go for the copper, please. I beg of you. There's a fisherman on the lake. Hey, look at that. I do want to learn fishing, but it's not super useful at the minute, and honestly... I need to save all of my money at all times. Winter wolves, alright. Oh no, it's gone. It's not... Okay, I'm out of here. I think someone got it or it despawned or something because it's just gone. I'm not going to get eaten by wolves. Let's uh, avoid that. Alright, that sucks. Let's head back towards the mountains so we can spot it from a distance. I may just have to check out my, my normal spots again one more time once I hearth back. There's, there's so few minerals to be found on Azeroth. This is dire. Alright, let's just head to the village. And not fight these level 8 bears if we can help it. That would be the way. <sighs> Alright, at least we'll get some money from this quest. That's good at least. And we can do some cooking at the fire over here. Alright, the safety of Brunel Village, more or less. Great to meet ya. Did you make the switch? Not bad, adventurer. Did you have a hard time getting past their guard? No matter. Many thanks. And if you're ever in need of stout with a kick, don't forget the barley brews. 
I think the female voice generator is a little more consistent than the male one. Alright, that was it for that. Alright. Hmm. Let me cook this up. And sell it. Probably sells for more when it's cooked. <clears throat> See how high up I can get. How are you? Twenty four copper, okay. I can get to nine okay, I, I can definitely get to ten with some because uh, yellow at level recipes don't off always reward you with a level up. They they have a chance to not, basically. And then once it gets to green, it almost never does. So I can at least get to 50, but I may want to also save my stone for future purposes. Here's what I'm, gonna do. I'm actually going to run back through the southern, the southern route and look for nodes on the way instead of hearthing back. I'm going to chance it here. I'm going to chance it here. Because I, I just I need a bit further, and also I might be able to get a bit more trash from enemies that I can sell to be able to buy the higher level weapon. Once I buy the hand axe, I think, um, the one that had higher DPS for melee, I'll feel comfortable fighting the animals around Brunel, and I can kind of resume questing. So my grinding delay will be at an end, hopefully. Surely there is at least one node on the way here, right? I guess there's a lot of people around here, so... Maybe I'll stick to the southern side... Maybe I'll have more luck down there. Gnome Hunter. Where's the elemental? <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can find. I'm just gonna have it on auto run. Though I will actually try to get kill this boar, because I want to get one more cooking progression from roasted boar meat. So, let me back up. Make sure there's no reds behind me. That's too bad. Perfect. Alright. I was hoping for that. Now we can get to level 10 cooking at least. So that's uh, that's pretty handy. Not gonna lie. Back to uh, <laughs> auto running. <laughs> Alright. Can I spot any nodes? I'm gonna maybe take a quick peek into the uh, Cold Ridge Valley, just in case there's a, uh, a node in the, or a Chilbreeze Valley, rather, so in case there's a node nearby. Auto running towards the Elite Yeti, maybe not be the best idea, but I'm gonna chance it. He's not gonna pop around a corner into my range. This corpse is still here, which isn't the best, uh, the best sign. Okay, I don't see him at all. Oh, no, I see him. Oh, he's right there. All right. Let's, uh, <laughs> Auto run the other direction now. <laughs> Whew. I've never like felt this level of tension from WoW questing, right? Like this is this is not the norm. And it's all thanks to hardcore mode. Alright. Around here somewhere there's gotta be a node. Surely. I'm gonna stick to the southern edge of the mountains up here. Oh, let's not pull these bears if we can. Well, I may enjoy pulling bears in real life. I'm not going to be pulling bears in uh, Snubby's uh, playthrough. That would be inopportune, to say the least. Alright, let's uh, make our way through here. Surely... Surely there is a node for Snubby over here. Come on. Show me the little gold circle. I just need one more node, and then I have guaranteed Boomstick with uh, some stone that I can save. If I don't find one, I can get to Boomstick now with the stuff that I have. But this would be a great way to uh, end off my journey to Rough Boomstick. Plus this way, once I can craft at least one rough boomstick, I can probably sell my other uh, engineering parts that I've crafted to get enough money to then get um, the weapon that I need. In fact, I think I'm going to kill this young black bear in case it drops um, 
Yeah. Let's start killing mobs on the way. Okay, why didn't I not shoot as much as I thought I should? This is still fine. I'm not going to lose to this guy, I hope. But bears um, are dangerous, to say the least. Come on. Hey, level 7! Look at that. More hit points, which is the main thing, and more mana is nice as well, and more agility and stamina. No new abilities at level 7, but certainly it is a, a good upgrade. Any further nodes around here? This is the node spot I keep finding them at. Uh, let's see here. Nodes for Snubby. Let's not go in there. Yeah, I don't think there's any more nodes easily accessible. Let's also not get attacked by an ice claw bear. All right, let's uh, let's just go back to Carnos. No more uh, playing around. Actually, I think we first go to the engineering guy, and then we go to Carnos. I guess we have to go through Carnos either way. So I, I guess I could have saved my Hearthstone on, or I could have used my Hearthstone earlier. Oh uh, well. I may just do another recording session or after this one so that my Hearthstone is uh, maximized. Well, we'll see what I feel like, but. That's too bad. I guess let me see if there's nodes in the cave, because if so, maybe I'll make a stop in there to try to find one of those nodes. But this whole area has so much traffic, I don't think my, my node luck will be very, uh, very high. Because even if there are nodes in there, if I run in there... Oh, oops, I just dropped my... One sec. Let's not destroy all my stuff here. My fan just fell over <laughs> and knocked it over by accident. Um... Actually, yeah, even if there's nodes in there, I'm not going to be able to... Oh, actually, there's a, a new quest here. I totally didn't think about that. We have some new quests available. Hi. Senior Whitebeard. I'm behind on my report and could use your help, adventurer. I just managed to find where the trolls are holed up, but I saw so many trolls, I was afraid to go in. Here's what I need. Go down to the cave, poke around inside, kill a few of the trolls, then come back here. Take the road north out of Karanos. When you get to the bridge, Follow the frozen river west until you reach Iceflow Lake. You'll find Brunel Village on the west bank. The hold is southwest of the village. Okay. Safe travels. That, I presume... Oh, it's a yellow... Really? I thought that'd be a red quest. Okay. I guess technically Frostmane Hold is at level now, so that is a, an interesting option for sure. Um, let us... Actually, we have to come here first to smelt, right? So let's do some smelting. Uh, first. Alright. Also sell our extra goods. What's on your mind? We actually have no extra goods, so never mind. I can cook the boar meat, at least. That's good. Is this not a cooking fire? How about here, the brazier? I, I think this is a cooking fire. Okay, whatever. I'll, I'll do that at the inn. I'll uh, smelt first. Alright. Yeah, with the boomstick and hopefully soon the um, uh, the better weapon, I will feel equipped enough to at least do the animal quest around Brunel Village, and then maybe also do Frostbane Hold. I think once my my melee DPS is increased, that's going to really boost up my confidence here. All right, here we go. Good. Let us head over to. Um, the engineering trainer and a C. Oh yeah, there's at least a copper node in the Grizzled Den, but I think for now I'm okay. Let's head over to the engineering trainer. Hopefully all of you are enjoying how um, how kind of slow paced this is. But uh, I really like uh, leveling in this game, and this challenge like gives a whole new dimension to it. You know, I just feel so much more like kind of connected to what's going on in the game because I, I can't just zone out and just do do quests kind of absentmindedly. I have to think about what I'm doing. So carefully, you know, which is a nice uh, change of pace to say the least. What can I get for? Welcome to Steel All right. So another problem we're gonna have is I have to, I have to also buy the uh, actual um, the actual thing, which uh, could be expensive. All right. Um, so I think what we do here. 
So I think we just make handfuls of copper bolts. Actually, well, hold on. I don't think any of these are going to need rough stone, so I th let me first use all my rough stone. Unless I need it for something else. Oh, I need more linen cloth as well, but I think I'll use the rough stone first on blasting powder. So in case I get one or two, I just need one engineering level from these. And so the way it works with uh, yellow uh, level recipes is that each uh, time you, you uh, create one, um, there is not a 100% chance. Red is a 100% chance of a, of a profession level up, but with this one it's like it's like not 100%. It's, it's still pretty high. And we're actually on. Now we're green. We stop. Um, I'm going to make five and then save the rest of my copper just to see. Oh, I need an anvil for this? Okay. Fine. Um, I'll run back over to Karnas. <laughs> That's irritating. Uh, I think engineers can actually make like deployable anvils. Am I right about that? Maybe blacksmiths can do that. Though that might have been an expansion feature. I don't remember actually if that was in vanilla, but... Whatever the case, we have a we have a, an anvil pretty close by, honestly, so this is not too bad. So I first of all have to be able to buy the boomstick recipe, that's step one, and then the, even be able to craft one at all. So we may not have a boomstick quite yet, but we're at least almost there. So much effort just to get a, a little bit more DPS, but every like point of DPS counts here, to be fully honest. I may also sell these gems, honestly. I don't know if I need them for anything, and at the minute... How much do they sell for? Holy crap, Shadow... Oh yeah, we're selling the Shadow Gem. But man, I really want the Tomahawk. This is such a boost over the Stiletto. Um, Let's see here. I could also sell... I could sell the Bolts or the Rough Blasting Powder. The thing is, I don't know yet if I need either of these for the Boomstick craft itself. So let me wait for a sec. I may come back and do that. Let me craft five more Copper Bolts to ensure that I get five engineering progression. And then let's go learn the boomstick if we can, because that's also gonna be some money. Then we can see what the boomstick craft needs. So there's like multiple things happening here, multiple steps to this pro part of the process. This may be the world's slowest paced uh, <laughs> Turtle WoW playthrough, by the way, but hopefully you're enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, I, I feel like so so like like my like my like uh survivalist brain is feeling so engaged by this this because vanilla wow has all these mechanics that feel like survival game mechanics but they weren't for a survival game they were for this persistent mmo where you could just resurrect real easily so this game feels weirdly well designed for survival experience given what it is you know and it's just the scale of this game i've spent at this point you know like almost five hours just in this one this one section, like, this one section of this whole ass world, like, there's so much more to discover. Man, I'm excited. Alright, let's go learn the last bit of engineering. And, uh, I don't... I didn't check and see how much the boomstick costed. Just a minor adjustment. Okay. Okay, that's not bad at all. <sighs> let's learn that first, and then not learn everything else, and see what the boomstick needs. Copper tube and wooden stock. Okay, the wooden stock and one copper bolt. So we need to save one copper bolt at least, but we can sell the rest. That's good. Wooden stock is sold by the engineering supplier, and the copper tube I think I need to make myself. Just a minor adjustment. Or possibly I can... Yeah, I can make it, or I can... Hmm. Oh, the copper tube probably requires copper bars, and I just used all my copper bars. No, wait, I didn't. I actually have copper bars left over, so never mind. Let me look and see if I can buy a copper tube for less than 150. If it's more than 150 to buy, I'll, I'll learn the recipe and then make one. What can I do for? Welcome to steel. Uh, let's see here. So wooden stock is actually two silver, which is a lot. Okay, copper tube for 480. Yeah, so you can buy them, but you're meant to make them, so it's very expensive to buy them. So I'm gonna buy. Ugh, I'm gonna buy one wooden stock. This has to. This is the priority at the minute before the melee weapon. And then come back down here. Just a minor and actually, do I have enough? I don't have enough. Shoot. I have to sell my extra bolts. I need to save... Okay, let me let me look at all my inventory here. I, I can't sell... Can I sell crafted light shots? I cannot sell them. Alright, that's fine. Um, okay. What's the move here? Uh, I could also sell my blasting powder. I don't need that to actually craft the... Um, the boomstick. 
I'm going to sell the blasting powder. And I need one copper bolt to make one boomstick. And I don't know what the boomstick's value is, so I'm going to save another copper bolt, just in case I want to sell... If the boomstick sells for a lot, I might... Yeah. So let me save five copper bolts and sell these ten. Alright. And... The blasting powder assuredly sells for more than the rough stone, so I'll make blasting powder out of the rough stone and then sell it. Okay. And then let me go back down and learn copper tube. Uh, okay. Just a minor adjustment. Alright. What do I need for copper tube? Weak flux, oh no. Blacksmith sell blacksmith uh what do you call them? Blacksmith uh good sellers sell this stuff, I think. Maybe this guy sells it too. Ooh, okay, one Holy crap. We can make a copper tube now. I need an anvil. Alright, back to Karen's. <laughs> Holy moly, like literally for a very, very, very low-level engineering thing. There's so many working parts here. But this is really cool, you know? Like, this is, like, classic WoW professions. It's actually, like, kind of complicated to craft, even basic engineering stuff. But we're almost to our green level 5 gun, which is an unbelievable upgrade. And we can also sell the gun that we bought earlier for quite a bit of money, probably. Ornate blunderbuss and all that. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh my gosh. The rough boomstick is almost in our sights. Whew, here it is. Copper tube. And then... Yes! We can craft a rough boomstick. Oh my goodness. 4.1 damage per second, speed 2.30. It's a little slower than the ornate blender bus, but the DPS is higher. So that is worth it. Here it is. The rough boomstick. Yes, <laughs> it's been crafted. So, okay, let me look at the value. Well, first let me talk to a... Um, I have the finest well, wires first things first, let me take my own gun off. So if I were to sell my gun... Hold on. My gun sells for 82. Holy crap, one silver 87? That's a lot of value. Alright, well, first of all, I'm putting the rough boomstick on myself, obviously. Bind on equip green that I've crafted. Crafted, made by Snubby. There it is. Yeah, look at that. Oh, perfect. Alright, that is a big DPS upgrade. Not a huge one, but, you know, it's it's a notable one. Let's sell that. Um, okay, so let me think about this. I have four copper bolts left. Can I make more of these to sell? Because that sells for a lot, but the amount that I need to, like, make them may be more than that. So the weak flux, so putting aside how much it costs in the abstracts, I can't verify, I can't like calculate that right now very easily. I can make one more copper tube. So I can make one more copper tube if I bought the weak, the weak flux, I can afford one more weak flux. Weak flux is I think what, 80, it's one, one silver. So, so the cost of the weak flux, so putting aside again, I'm not talking about the abstract, what it costs, or the, val the profit you can make in total, but so at the minute, because I already have the copper I need, for one more copper tube is one silver in total. And then wooden stock was, I think, I think that was two silver. So it actually wouldn't be a profit to sell another one to a vendor. And I can only sell to vendors, remember, because I'm dealing with a hardcore mode. So I think what I do now then, given that, is I first go back to the engineering trainer to see what the next engineering things are. I can also... Um, I'm, I'm not going to buy the arc light uh, spanner, which I don't need yet, because that's uh, more more money, and I want to save my money for the melee weapon now. That's the next thing to, to get up to. So let's run back over and see what we can do here. Yeah, let's run back over and see what we can do. Um, I want to see if uh, what the next, like... If there are engineering things coming up, because I can start selling my engineering parts and whatnot if there's nothing coming up that I think I need them for. Uh, okay, arc log spanner, I can get that right away. Crude scope, um, damage by one. 
that's actually a pretty big upgrade. And that's 60. I think I do want to get to 60 engineering. So I think I grind engineering at least to 60 before I, I switch focus away from grinding. That's another part. That's another part. That's a usable item. Yeah. So getting to 60, we're only 7 away from 60. Um, so let me at least... Yeah, let me first of all turn the rest of my copper into copper bolts. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell all of my copper bolts at that point. I think that's the move. Yeah. And on the way over, I'm going to kill some more boars, because I want to get my cooking up to 25. I need some more boar meat, so sorry, more boar killing awaits. Give me just a sec here. Blasting through this boar. Right, good. That was a pretty good showing. Didn't get a fourth shot off. That's fine. Right, drink of boar meat. Good. Uh, all right. I feel my confidence redoubled by having this uh, better gun. Oh, this guy charged right at me. That's fine. We can slice through these boars real easily now. Alright, good. More trash as well. Let's see. Already getting some more boar meat. Look at that. That is efficient boar grinding right there. At maximum range. I'm watching the numbers, by the way. That's what I'm doing when I back up. I'm watching the numbers till they turn white. Shoot that up with the range. Wait for the second auto shot. Back up a couple steps. Third auto shot, and then close the distance for the kill. Because I can't get the fourth auto shot off in time. We have a lot of Craig boar meat getting stacked up as well, which we can use for cooking once we get to 25. Um, can I get... Is there any bear recipes? No. Wolf meat as well, I shouldn't forget about. There's not tons of wolves around here. I should have the auto shot there. That was a mistake. Alright, whatever. Same... same place. Alright. This run is uh, looking a bit more promising now. Also, I've been drinking an energy drink as I've done this recording. I'm now, like, kind of woken up a lot more <laughs> than I was at the start, which is helping. Alright, second auto attack. Back up. Auto attack. Uh, okay, not quite. Alright, I feel, I feel good about where things are at the minute. Things are looking promising. Do we have a little bit more? Plus, I can sell the um, the boar meat that I cook for more money as well, which is obviously good. Oh, you know what? There's wolves right there. Let me try and get some wolf meat from these guys. Maybe it, it drops at a high rate. There's like a ton of them too. Maybe the guys that are a little bit lower level. Also, my axe skill will be really low, so I need to practice. I need to boost it up on a couple low-level enemies before I go adventuring with my new melee weapon. Otherwise, I will just miss every melee attack. And once I'm in melee combat, I can't be missing really any attacks to be safe. Okay, we're up to five. I want to at least let's see. I need um, fourteen in total, right? No. Ten. 14, no, I need 16 in total, so I'm at 5 right now. Alright, the grind continues. Will this guy pull other wolves? I don't think so, right? Alright, auto attack, back up. Alright. This is going very well. These guys are dropping meat. These guys are so, like, these are the chunkiest dogs in, in the world. So much meat. That guy is pulling. Oh, not quite. 
was so close to getting another shot off consistently. These wolves move really fast. Can you help me? No? Alright, thanks. Thanks for that one. <laughs> Paladin. <sighs> Alright. Alright, so much meat. So much meat. This was a good a good call. And they're pretty packed together too. Also, there's boars nearby. The grind continues. Ah, oh, shoot. Alright, that's fine. Not helpful yet, but that will be good later. Oh no, now it's not stacking either. Shoot, okay. Um, I may also sell the Malachite to get a bit more value as well. So let's uh, wait a second and heal. I'm gonna give myself the uh, the buff for this uh, meat grinding session. Let's wait for it to... There we go. All right, I'm feeling I'm feeling good about my progression here. I like the fact. Oh shoot, I missed that. I like the fact that I literally crafted my own like item. <laughs> it makes me feel so much better. It was like a whole last journey to get that item crafted, but we we accomplished it despite the lack of nodes for Snubby to uh, mine from. Going pretty well. Right. I gotta be careful. If I uh, try to use my um, my hotkey before the global cooldown is finished, it'll just not happen, and I have to wait another global cooldown. So that could be a uh, a problem if uh, I'm in a bad fight. So much wolf meat. So much wolf meat. We are making good progress here. We need. Let's see. Did I say 16 before? Yeah, we need 16, so we're at 9 now. I kind of do want to go back down into the mine to get more, or into the uh, the Wendigo den to get more of those uh, those copper nodes. It's hard to justify fighting because all the Wendigos, I guess they drop trash items sometimes. They're not dropping any meat though, which is what I really am looking for right now. I think we just stay up here. We we don't need more copper right this second. Not as much, so I think we're fine. Pull the other wolf. Oh we oh shit. Okay, we're leaving. All right. Time to stop firing and time to not pull the bear either. Let's not let's not fight two wolves at once. I'm gonna lose that fight and get killed. In the town we go, Snubby the hopping gnome who doesn't take damage or die. <sighs> okay, they do they do uh, pull each other as it turns out. So I stand corrected on that one. That was a close call. Let's uh, let's cook up what we have for now and see where things are looking. All right. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Dodging, dodging, uh, you know, problems there. I don't remember what our, our lowest level cooking thing we can get is, but let me get to 15 and see where things are at that point. Let's cook two of these. Oh, I didn't actually... Wait... There we go. Sorry, I'm not multitasking. Okay, let me see the cooking trainer, what he has to say. To meet you. I can teach you how to oh, spiced wolf meat, okay. This we can probably take a bit further. So wolf meat's a good thing to grind up here. So I'm gonna need six more wolf meats. Wolf meat's pretty easy to get. I'm just gonna get a, a few more wolves once I f finish this guy, or once I finish this uh, charred wolf meat. 
Because spices I have to pay for is the issue. So let's see what we can do here. And let's sell what we have for now. Rabbit's foot we can sell. Board meat I'll sell. Um, I'll sell the bolts. I'm going to keep the copper bars, though. Actually, no. What am I doing? I'm going to turn the copper bars into bolts and then sell them. Shard wolf meat I'm going to get rid of as well. Okay. Let me go smelt up all the, the copper... Or not smelt up. Let me go to the anvil and uh, turn the copper bolts... Copper bars into bolts and then sell them. And then get back to uh, trying to go for the, um, the thing. Because the other reason I want to get to uh, 25 cooking to get my beer bastard boar recipe going is I can sell some of the beer bastard boars to get more money. Because I, I just need to get the melee right. weapon. Then the questing can resume, I promise. <laughs> Alright. This will get me to 55 engineering as well, which is quite nice. Okay, and now, we sell this. Money progression is happening. Quests give you a lot of more money, like, for the time spent, but I just... I don't... I can't comfortably proceed to any of these quests without a better melee weapon. Like, that's really the main issue right now. I, I guess I could go down to the Winnego Cave to get more copper, just so I can get to 60 engineering and get the scope. I think that's probably worth doing, honestly. Let's, uh, especially because I think that warlock is heading in there, so let's uh, follow along carefully. Ew. <laughs> this warlock is not paying attention. All right, let me see what, what's going on down here. I just I see it on my mini map, and it's so hard to resist. You know. I think we should be able to blast through the Wendigos pretty safely. Oh, not quite. But that's fine. Especially the young one that goes are no trouble at all. This doesn't look too far in, so I should be able to get to it pretty safely. Oh, they're going to drop copper! Oh, wow, I didn't even think about that. Wendigos actually drop currency as well. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to go for those uh, nodes. I totally forgot these guys can drop actual currency. We're going to get enough real quick. Oh, thank you. I can't join with you because you're not in my guild, so... But I will follow him. That's fine. Oh well. Oh wait, these guys are dead. That's fine though, because I can still get to the node, which is no longer... Oh, there's one in the corner. Okay, I think there's a miner in here, but we, if we get to the corner spot before, before too late... And we can also hearth out of here as well at the end. This might be what we need. Just a regular one to go. I think we're okay. Stop dodging my attacks. That's not gonna be good for me. Oh my gosh, that's so much copper. Oh yeah, this this is worth it to like fight our way through to get to the node. Like we're gonna get so much money along the way. This is such a good idea. I'm not gonna back up as much in the cave because there might be respawns behind me. And even two Wendigos could literally be the end of the run, so I gotta be real, real, real careful in here. The Fortitude bonus is also very handy, so I appreciate that priest giving that to me. I, I have no buffs to give to him, sadly, because I'm a hunter, but, you know, it is what it is. So we're just gonna keep moving at a, a brisk pace so that we're not running into the respawns behind us. Ooh, okay, that was a good couple shots there. Stabbing him. Oh, yes! <laughs> it's not a shadow gem, but that still is valuable. Shadow gem is crazy. Oh my gosh, there's a node right there! It's They're respawning in here as I'm in here. Okay, um... Oh, there's a chest there as well. Holy crap. This is huge. Alright, I think I can hit this guy from here now. That's pulling the other guy. Alright. This is good. Not quite. That's fine. No, don't go for the chest! No! <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be a race. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't see the chest, don't see the chest. No! God damn it! <laughs> no! 
Oh, that sucks. That's really bad luck. At least I get the node. Maybe he'll leave something for me. Oh, well. I've uh, taken advantage of... Uh... Oh, he actually did leave something for me. Okay. Maybe he didn't like what he saw. Maybe he just left some trash in there. Honestly, anything is better than nothing, so let's see what he left. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, he left some food. I can sell that for money, at least. Alright, let me go in deeper, because I think the node further in is still there, and these guys are dropping a lot of, uh, a lot of currency, so... Okay, this is getting a little dicey, though. Okay, we got another one in. Alright. Once I get down to about half health, I can safely dispatch them pretty well. They fortunately don't patrol around very much. They're pretty easy to keep track of. Oh, wait a minute. I can zoom out in the cave. Wow, I did not notice that earlier. Which means I actually can... I'm going to get my, my food up here. Which means I can actually see further out. I think there's one like over here, basically, on the map. Just out of sight. There we go. Buff has been replenished for the cave. Oh no! Okay, that guy didn't go all the way. I got nervous there. Because <laughs> the other thing, too, is uh, not having. Like, selling the food that I was making before, maybe. I guess I have some Darnassi Blue. Because the time I'm spending between poles is time that the respawns are happening behind me. So there's actually kind of a time pressure here to kind of keep moving through at a brisk pace. Okay, uh, let's see here. Come up here. Alright, um, I can't, I just can't tell if the thing's there or not. But either way, I think this is still worth it to move through like this. One more, please? Okay, no. That's fine. I can win this fight. Is that guy on hardcore? I can't tell. Either either way, I'm just gonna wait. Actually, if that guy's on hardcore, I should team up with him. He is on hardcore. Okay, I'm gonna team up with him. This is good for both of us. I'm gonna try to lead him this way. Maybe he'll follow me. There we go. Yeah, escort me to the node. He's probably doing the uh, the pelt quest, so this is for both of our benefit. That's still in charge. The stealth mode. Get the threat, please. Come on, you do so much damage as a rogue. Get the threat. <laughs> All right. He's doing the main quest. He's picking them up. That's still right, this is much easier now. Now we have a, a guaranteed survival through the cave. I was already feeling pretty good about the cave, but. Oh, yes! I'm saving that for Frost Main Hold. <laughs> Alright, we can definitely get enough money now. My grinding days are over for now. Alright, on we go. I can move while I cast these. But I can't move while doing auto attack. I didn't think so. <laughs> That's too bad. I'm also getting half of the loot, because it's a share of loot thing. Come up here with me, please. This way. Is there uh, is there one back here? No, I don't think so. All right, well, now we have to fight these guys anyways, because we're up here. There might not be any more in the cave, actually. I don't, I don't see one down there, so... That's too bad. I think once we kill these guys up here, I'll leave the group at Hearth out. Get back to Karnas. We'll have enough money at that point. Okay. We're getting a lot of money pretty quick with this guy, so I may not want to be like too soon. It's a little repetitive, but it certainly isn't hurting. Alright, no no node back here. I guess we can go check the other side, just in case. That's still I have a little friend to help me out. Always a good situation. Right, more copper. 
with what we have now and what we uh, can sell, I can almost for sure. Because I can also make. Yeah, I can definitely get enough now to get the uh, the hatchet. I guess we could go out into the lake area. Just in case. I don't remember seeing any, any nodes back there, but you never know. One more node would be a game changer. This is some misadventure greed in effect right here, to be sure. Alright. More copper for me. about that. <laughs> he may be fed up with my my activities here. What is he writing? Like an essay? Like Alright, fair enough. Yeah. I don't I don't like begrudge people that don't really want to be teamed up with a grinder. No worries. Okay, I, I see zero, zero nodes back here. So let's hearth out. I think we're, I think we're fine at this point. No rares in sight. All right, successful uh, Wendigo Cave re-entry. Feeling a lot more confident now about my, my abilities in there. All right, let's go ahead and um, also get the last of our wolf meat before we finish up the session. Although first, let's go over and uh, actually let's do the wolf. Let's let's get the last uh, six wolf meat or boar meat, um, so we can get the beer based with boar ribs. All right, get out of range, into range, very slightly. No, give me a boar rib or a boar meat. I mean, chunk of boar meat. Please. Yes, and a Craig Borib. Perfect drop right there. Alright. Just blasting these guys apart. We're about to be slicing them apart too, very soon. Nope, that's still vendor of trash. I'll take that. Back up. I might be able to back up between my first and second ability as well. I don't know if they get aggroed at that point. Okay, not quite. I need five more wolf meat, I guess, at this point. Also, my mana needs to recover very slightly, but we're almost there. Can we pull individual wolves? That would be the, the play. But they're pretty grouped up here. Let's come around. This guy looks pretty on his own. Shoot, this guy here looks promising. Okay, yeah, I don't think that's faster. I think I missed my first auto attack if I do that. So, we just uh, do this the slow way. But the slow and steady way wins the race, you know. Alright. Need four more. We're almost there. And it's getting a bit low, but that should be fine. We'll rest up between. Three more, we're so close. Give it just a sec. I, uh, I'll try for a boar, a boar flank. Fire back up. There we go, yeah, that's the way. Down to 22% health on the pole. Come on, stab this guy up. Ooh, okay. That probably sells for a fair bit. I can't even use bows. Oh, God! I can't even use bows as, an, as a gnome, but uh, that's a good find. Probably sells for like a silver, maybe? That's pretty good, if so. What? I used that off cooldown. Come on. Made me lose one of my shots. 
That's a bummer. That's, that's fine, though. Alright. We wait slightly for our health to regenerate. <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> Dang. I, I don't know if he stole my kill. Maybe he just didn't drop any meat, but I should be kind of careful about that. I think if you do 50% damage or more... Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to run. I didn't get to do my, my pull damage, so I'm not going to take this fight. I could probably beat him in one-on-one -on -one melee, but I'm just going to pull him over while they're leaving. Pull him this way. Not risking it. If I, if I can't get my shots off before the fight starts, I'm not taking the fight. Right, Mountaineer, heal that guy. No XP for me for that guy, but that's fine. I'll take this wolf instead. Back up. Alright. Oh! I got the XP, so that counted as a kill, but no meat. That is too bad. Just need three more meat. That's it. Coming way out here, away from the road. This could be dangerous. I think I can pull this off. Alright, here we go. Yes, two more meat. That's it. Uh, gotta go further out into the wilderness here. stuff. Yes, one more meat. That's it. <laughs> one singular meat. I'm gonna go for boars, honestly. That's probably the safer safer way. Elder Craig Boar. I can probably take this guy. Actually, I'll just take this wolf on. Because wolves seem to have a better meat drop than boars, oddly enough. The pigs are fattier than wolves are. This guy has a lot of health, I'm just noticing now. I think we're okay, though. I can pull back to Mountaineers if needed. Maybe I missed a shot. I don't know why I didn't do more damage on his, his pull, but this is fine. Come on. Plus, any extra money can go into buying better armor, which will help out a lot in melee. Come on. Yes! Yes! Finally, I have the wolf meat. Oh my god. Like, literally, um, since I'm just uploading these as raw files and I'm not doing any editing, you're here with me for my entire journey with Snubby. All the way to level 60, I'm sure. We'll make it. Okay, let's first do the cooking, and then sell um, the extra... Once we can make more beer bastard boar ribs, we'll, uh, we'll keep those for, for food purposes, and we'll sell everything else. And then go back to do smelting, and then go back to the engineer to buy the 60 scope if we can. Well, actually, before we go back to the like that, at that point in the queue of things that I'm planning to do here, we'll go and buy the weapon. We can also sell our actual dagger to get a bit more money as well. So I think we'll have more than enough at that point. All right. I could also get a flint and tinder and simple wood to make fires myself, but there's no reason to at the minute. We can just do it here. All right, oh, here we go. It's gonna be the wind down of the video, probably. This has been a long video, but full of uh, fun, snubby adventure action. All right, moment has come. Beer basted boar ribs. We can now make 14 of them as well. Well, I need Rhapsody Malt for it. Uh, Rhapsody Malt's 50 copper per as well, so we should be aware of that. Alright, 50 for that. Alright, so I will save that for now. I'm going to come back once I see how much money I have remaining, because it is 50 copper per Rhapsody Malt. I should, I guess, have thought about that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just save them up here. I'll probably sell my Malachite as well. Save the scroll of protection. 
Uh, yeah. So smelt the copper. And then, open up engineering. Uh, I'll just make this uh, rough blasting powder because I probably don't need the stone for anything else and I can sell it for a bit more. I guess I could make some, some more light shots. Technically, I, this would be like an okay use of my resources, but I'd rather just make some copper bolts to sell. I think that's the better move right now. Plus it gives me more engineering progression. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to get to 60 engineering right now. That's fine. Okay, now the moment of truth. The wares in the land. Oh, only, only 28 for this. Okay, it's not as good as I thought. Sell all of this. Sell that. We definitely have enough now for the tomahawk, and I can also what sell my I actual get? knife as well for a bit more. What can I get for you today? 25. Whew, here it is. Requires level 4, 3.8 damage per second, which is, uh, I think, over double or so. Here it is. We've got ourselves a much better melee weapon. We have to train up our axe skill, which will take a second, but yeah, look at that. Tomahawk and the rough boomstick. We are in business right now. Hi. And I think I will go ahead, and before I end this session, just do a little bit of axe training. We need to get up to around 35. I'm going to go find a fairly easy enemy that can fight in melee while being nearby some guards in case there's some shenanigans. But I have, you know, the, the benefit of having slow and steady is double weapon skill gain, so this should be pretty safe. I wonder if I can do it on a critter even. Let's find out. It actually does give me axe skill up. Let me just fight like a large Craig Boar who I feel like I know the moveset of pretty well. Uh, maybe someone a little easier than that, just to be safe, in case there's there's problem. Well, no, I, I can probably pull this off. There's an, an, a Mountaineer right there. Axe is leveling up real fast. We just need to get up to around 35. This is fine. I think. Okay, this is not fine. I'm leaving. Help me out, Mountaineer. I'm being attacked. Come on, get in on the fight. What are you doing? Aren't you a guard? Maybe he's not a guard? Okay. Um, I'm just going to run away, actually, because without the ranged opening... I got about halfway through my level, so I can just do this a second time after I run. I'm just not taking chances on crits. Alright, there we go. Okay, a <laughs> slightly awkward uh, situation there, but we'll just wait a little bit. Yeah, if it's one Rhapsody Malt per Beer Bastard Boar Ribs, that's quite expensive. But it's probably worth it um, to get the bonus. Let me wait. So when you get up to about 35 on Axe, then we'll be good to go. Because I can just run after after I start to take too much damage. Wait for our at full health. I don't need to even kill this guy, I just need to fight him to get the uh, the weapon skill. Come on. Let's see it. Very close enough. Let's get up to 35. Come on. Let's not take too much damage here, I want to not do this on two more things. Okay, we're almost at 35 now. 33. Okay. Didn't get to 35, but we got to 33, so that is fine. Also, we could get 15 more with Rhapsody Malts. I can't even afford 15 Rhapsody Malts right now. Is it 50 per? Maybe I'm wrong about that. I think it was 50 per. Let me go check. If it's less than 50 per, I can probably get a couple of them to level up cooking a bit further and get some more uh, boar basted beer basted boar ribs, boar basted boar ribs as well, I guess, technically. Let us see how much this costs. Fill your tank. Yep, that is 50 copper per Rhapsody Malt. That is uh, way too expensive for me at the minute. That's too bad. But, uh, I guess what that means is I could sell... Well, hmm. Fill your tank and pull up. Let me buy one... Well, hold on, wait. How much does this sell for, is the question. Because the Craig Boar meat sells for, I think, 5 per. 
I mean, it's surely not enough to justify it. But let me let me just test with. Well. Hmm. Uh, let me think about this. I'm gonna verify with one to see what it sells for, because it was 50 copper to set this up. What? How much, how much does it sell really for? Oh yes, it's absolutely not worth it. You know what? I'll go ahead with my remaining money and just get two more. I can't afford any more than that. Just so I have a couple on me for uh, for healing between fights. And then I'll sell some of my... Oh, I guess I'll keep the rest of my boar meat. I guess that's fine. I'll sell two of them so I have room to just put it in the bag with it. Alright, there we go. There we go. That'll do. And then um, I'll save the rest for future when I can get more Rhapsody Malts. But uh, yeah, I think that's a good stopping point for this recording session. This has been a long recording session, but we have triumphantly now gotten very, very small incremental DPS boost to both our ranged attacks and our melee attacks. And we're on the way to level 8, where a lot more really useful abilities await. Next time, we are going to be heading back over to the west to do probably the animal quest first, and then after that, we'll attend to um, the Perfect Stout and the Frostman Hold quest, both in that area. But that's going to be it for this episode of the Stubby Playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.